Yes, I do. I'm actually the owner of Happy Ice. Really? Yes. Wow. And we serve Philadelphia water ice. You ever had it before? Never. Oh, man. You need to learn more about it. You want to learn more? Yes, please. Whoa. It's so colorful in here. And look, there's a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I love rainbows. Let's see which colors this rainbow has. Red, pink, yellow, blue, a different shade of blue, and green. Wow. And hey, look at these clouds. Wait a minute. Oh, we're surrounded by clouds. Whoa, do you see that up there? <laughs> so fluffy. <laughs> Check out this watermelon. Oh, would you like to count the seeds with me? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten watermelon seeds. <laughs> and did you know this part of the watermelon is called the rind? <laughs> yeah, it's green. Cool. Oh, and look, another red fruit. Do you know what it's called? That's right, cherries. Let's count the cherries. One, two, two delicious cherries. Check out all these fruits. <laughs> oh, look at this one, a lemon. It's one of my favorite colors, yellow. Do you see any other yellow fruit? <gasps> yeah, this pineapple has yellow and green too. This pineapple is so sweet and this one is really sour. <laughs> oh, and look at all these red fruits. Strawberries and some more cherries, just like this one. <laughs> and watermelon too. Oh, I love this place. It makes me feel so happy. Happy ice, happy ice. Sounds so good, I have to sing it twice. <laughs> and look. Another rainbow. Whoa. Let's see where the rainbow goes. Ooh. Hey, Lemire. Hey. You ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can start off by letting you choose the flavor we start making today. <gasps> can I choose two flavors? Why not? Today's a special day. Oh, great. What color should we choose? I see white and green. I would love to try a yellow flavor, but I don't see any. Oh, well this right here, I know it looks orange, uh -huh. but when we make it and it comes out the machine, it's gonna be bright yellow, just like your headband. Oh, perfect. I'd like that flavor, please. Gotcha. And I would like my other favorite color, purple too, but I don't see it. Oh, purple is your favorite color? Yes, one well, of guess them. Guess what? We don't typically have purple, but I did make a custom flavor recently that I didn't get a chance to use, but today's a special day. Whoa. It's lavender. Lavender? What does yes. that taste like? So lavender is a floral flavor. Uh -huh. It's like a herb, very light, but very, very good. Oh, I'd like that one, please. All right. Purple and yellow. Got it. Let's do it. Great. <laughs> Let's go make it. All righty. We now have our flavors. Great. You ready to start making? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're chefs today, so we have to have our aprons. Great. Now, we're going to go ahead and pour our flavor inside of our pitchers right here. Okay. Okay? You want to do yellow? Yes, please. I'll go ahead and do the purple. Wow. All right. Go ahead and 
pour the whole thing inside. All right. Alrighty. I'll take that one. You can now you have your lavender. Lavender. Mm-hmm. In machine. Pour that one, one inside of there. Mmm, -hmm. it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. It tastes good too. Awesome. Thank you. And now sitting at the top of the machines is our special water mix. This is what makes Philadelphia water ice, Philadelphia water ice. <laughs> Very special. You want to go ahead and take this. Okay. And pour this right directly inside the machine with the flavor. Okay. Here I go. You are doing a good job today. Oh, thank you. Perfect. Yep. And we got one more. Where to go? You actually make two flavors. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All righty. So now we're at the final stages. Okay. And we want to make the product. So we have our icons on here. And the one that kind of looks like an ice cream cone, when we hit that one, the machine is going to start and it's going to freeze the product oh. and actually turn it into Philadelphia water ice. Wow! Okay. Okay. So I'll let you have the honors of counting down and okay. we're going to hit the button together. Together. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow! Check out all this foam. <laughs> all righty. So now the product is frozen inside and it's time for us to let it out. All right. So I'm gonna start off by just hitting this button. And this one, and now it's ready to come out. So I'm gonna stir up the top a little bit, get the top mixture a little solid. All right, and we ready to go. Here go your bright yellow. Remember I told you like a head man? Yeah, All right. looks great. I'm gonna let it out, I'm gonna demonstrate on this one, and you're gonna do that one, okay? Okay. All right, so you wanna bring it to the center, you have to lift it up, and then the product comes out. And we wanna stir it while it's going inside of the bucket. Whoa. And once it fills up, bring this back down, turn it to the side, stop the machine. Keep stirring. We're gonna stir it a little bit just to flatten it out. And you are all set. Okay. You wanna start by hitting that button, uh -huh. then that one, and then you can lift up the handle. Go ahead, turn that to the middle, lift it up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And you go ahead and stir as it's coming out. Do I fill up the whole bucket? That should be enough right there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna stop the machine for you. And now we have to go ahead and pop on our two lids. Okay. And once we pop on our lids, we're gonna hurry up and get inside of the freezer so there's no ice crystals and we're all ready to go. Great. Okay? All right. So we need our two lids. We're gonna pop our lids on. Perfect. <laughs> now you wanna go ahead and get them inside of the freezer okay. so they can get ready to serve. <laughs> That was so much fun. <laughs> happy ice, happy ice, sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. Happy ice, happy ice, happy life. <laughs> oh look, we have a customer. <laughs> Wait, I thought I had a customer. <gasps> oh, there she is. <laughs> Here you go, hey, yeah. You're welcome, enjoy. <laughs> Another happy customer. Thanks for helping me learn about Happy Ice today. We got to visit the Happy Ice truck and try different flavors, and we even made our own flavor. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. See you later, friends. Wow! Oh, Mika, cool! Yeah, this room is filled with different art pieces! Yeah, check it out! Here, do you want one? Oh, yeah, thank you! Wow, unicorn mugs! These are so cool! Oh, cheers! 
<laughs> Yum! Whoa, there we Whoa. go. Oh. Nice and gentle. Yeah, there we go. Whoa, <gasps> check it out. Cool. Oh. Cars, mine is blue. Yeah, mine is red. Oh. It's so cool that you can even make cars out of clay. Yeah, awesome. Oh. 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 Well, this pottery is so cool. New pottery is an art piece that's made out of baked clay. Yeah, or other types of stoneware. Yeah, it's really cool because it starts soft and squishy and then it ends up like this. It's nice and hard. Yeah. Oh, cool. Hey, look at this. Whoa. Oh, I'm being very careful when I hold these. Good job. Yeah, a yellow flower. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah. <sighs> it smells <laughs> just like clay. <laughs> Oh, cool. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> do you see what I see? Yeah, I do. Whoa. Ready? Do you know what animal that is? <laughs> A lion, yeah. yeah. Will you act like lions with us? <laughs> Whoa. So cool that an artist made this lion out of clay. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, and it's so colorful too. They must have painted it. Yeah, look at the blue eyes. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'll very gently when I set that down. Nicely done. Oh, thanks. Hey, Blippi, there's more animals down here. Oh yeah, you're right. Look, a bunny rabbit. Aww. <laughs> nice little carrot right there. It's so cute. Oh. oh, what about this little elephant? Aww. Little elephant, but big ears. You got that right. <laughs> oh, and look at this one. Huh, oh, what is that, do you think? Huh, maybe a leopard? Oh, yeah, and it's really big, almost like a blowfish, but it's not a fish. Yeah, mm. so artistic. Yeah, really cool. You can make anything you want. Yeah, and it's so cool that these animals, yeah, are nice friends together. Aw, so cute. Yeah. Oh, Look, there's another one up here. Oh, interesting. Looks like a pig, right? Yeah, and purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, but wait a second. It's all alone. Yeah, and it looks like there's some space for other animals. <gasps> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah? Lunch we time! Make, no. Oh. <laughs> we can make this pig some animal friends. Oh, that's a great idea, Mika. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, who are you? Hi, guys. Welcome to Cobalt and Clay. My name's Nicole. Oh, oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, and I'm Mika. Oh. <laughs> so what do you do here? Um, I'm the owner and instructor. Wow. Oh. Cool. Well, you might be the perfect person to ask. Do you think we can make some pottery today? Of course. Oh. Yeah, oh. we want to make some animal creatures. Awesome. Well, would you like to hand build or throw? Hmm. What's the difference? Well, hand building is where you can use your hands to sculpt, and throwing is where we use the pottery wheel that spins. Oh. oh. Could we do both? Of course. Yeah. yeah. How do we get started? So you guys want to grab some clay, and I'll meet you at the wheels. All okay. right. <laughs> Thanks. See you later. See you. Oh, cool. Oh, look at all this clay, Blippi. Wow. Big blocks of clay, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, look at this one. Kind of looks oh. red. Yeah, you're right. Almost like a brick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look down here. Whoa, this was like a dark brown. Oh, yeah. Oh, and look at these. Oh. Ooh, a nice tan color. Yeah, and the shape of balls, it looks like. Yeah, interesting. Hmm, Let's shall look we? inside. I wonder if they're the perfect size. Oh, check it out. Whoa, cool. Yeah. There you go. One for you. Oh, and thank one you. one for me. <laughs> oh, cool. Ooh, and I have a great idea. <laughs> and since they're pieces of clay and they won't get ruined if they fall on the ground. I know what you're going to do. Yeah, here go. we go. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Well, nice job. Thank you very much. I should probably put this third one away, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's seal up the bag so then they don't dry out, right? Good idea. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice twist. <laughs> All there right. You are. There we go. All right. Oh, check it out. Oh, scale. Yeah. Whoa. We could weigh our clay. Yeah. Do you want to go first or me? Oh, you go ahead. <laughs> oh, thanks, Mika. All right. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Looks like one pound. Oh, nice! Wonder if mine's gonna be the same or different. Yeah. Oh, also about 
one pound or <laughs> half a kilogram. <laughs> so silly. Well, I think they're good, shall we? Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm so excited. Me too. Okay, we'll set that there. Ooh. Aprons. Oh, smart. So then we don't get dirty. Yeah, this will protect our clothes. <laughs> yeah. And it even says cobalt and clay. Oh, cool. Matching aprons. Yeah. Oh, Hi, hey. guys. Hey, hey, Nicole. Are you ready to throw? Yeah. yeah. Right. Throw clay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go over a few things that we're going to be using. So we have a bucket of water here that's going to help the clay glide through our hands. Uh huh. And then the way the wheel works, there's a foot pedal on your table. You're going to set it on the floor, and that's going to control the wheel speed. Okay, and do we sit down? Yeah, you're going to sit on I'll your sit. stool. <laughs> cool. Nice and relaxing. Whoa. Okay. The pedal's on the floor. And that's what you use to control the spin. And then what about the clay? So you're going to take it. You're going to smack it in that center circle. Uh -huh. You'll tap the sides really well, seal the base, and then you'll just start to mold your piece. Sounds okay. like fun. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to set up our next station. All right, right. Thank you. See ya. See ya. Okay. Ready to throw it? Ready to throw. Whoa. I missed the center. <laughs> Me too. We Let's should probably again. do that again. Oh. Whoa. Three, two, one. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> okay, and then I think she said to use some water oh, yeah. on our hands, Let's right? Water our hands. Okay, water our Let's hands. Water, water our hands. Water, 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 water our hands. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Smack it. Oh, and then she said seal it, right? Oh, so maybe push yeah. it down. I, I and... think we go around the edges like this, so then it seals from this plate. That sounds right to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's fun. Really? Yeah. Can't wait to try. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Oh, it actually goes pretty fast, what huh? Does it? Whoa. <laughs> Mine's a little off center, so I'm gonna push it in the center. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, maybe it'll work. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, look at my hands. Oh, mine too. Whoa. Sticky and slimy. How about a clay high five? Oh, oh. It's on my face. <laughs> That's silly. Try <laughs> doing clay can be pretty dirty. I know, but it's really fun. fun. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, All here right. we go. Whoa. 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 Okay. Don't let go of your clay. <laughs> Kid, you're so silly, Mika. Oh. How are you doing? I don't know. Whoa. I don't know. I can't stop. It's pretty wobbly. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think mine's gonna be a little wobbly. Whoa. Oh, should we take a look? Yeah, let's check it out. Oh, okay, I'm whoa. gonna keep going with that shape. Let's see. Whoa. whoa. Look at what I made. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, like a bowl. You can put all sorts of knickknacks in here. Yeah, or you can put little snacks in there. Oh, yeah, smart. Ooh, and it's so cool because when you want to go higher, you just pull it up. You don't even have to spin your hand around. Blimey, you're such a natural. Oh, thanks, Mika. Ready? Whoa. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, my oh, goodness. No. <laughs> it's too fast. Oh. Oh. It's actually harder than it looks, huh? Yeah. Mine broke. Oh, yours looks pretty cute, though. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, well, shall we go to the next station? Yeah, let's try it out. <laughs> oh, this is fun. All right, come on. Okay. Yep. Washed hands. I think we're ready. Yeah, I'm so excited. Yeah. All right. And what's oh. this station called? Hand building. Hand, hand building. building. Whoa. So do we build with our hands? Yeah, we're going to um, sculpt our animals right now. Oh. Okay. Is this the body or the head? This is going to be our animal body. Oh. Okay. Fun. Ooh, and look at this. Whee. Wow. It's kind of like the wheel we were at before, but smaller. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. And what's this one for? We're going to use these to make our attachments. So like the animal's limbs and maybe like some fins or some whatever you're trying to create. Oh, cool. cool. Well, huh, what kind of animal do I want to make? Mm. Um, maybe a tiger? Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. What about you? I think 
think I might do a dinosaur. Oh, fun! Yeah, with plates down the back. Oh, like a stegosaurus. Yeah. Cool. All right. So, how do we get started? Just pull it off? Yes, yeah, so you're gonna just pinch a little piece of clay off. Okay. And then you're gonna roll it, use your fingertips to mold the shape that you'd like. So if you're trying to make, um, if you're trying to make a limb, then you know, you just want a little foot or yeah. a paw of some okay. sort, right? Ooh, yeah, look at this. Ooh. A really short leg. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> nice. Okay. And how do you get it to stick? So when you make clay attachments, it's called score and slipping. So what we need first is score. needle tools. Needle tools? Oh. <laughs> Nicole, <laughs> I have them right there. Oh, there you, go. you One, just three. had these needle tools in your jam pack? I have everything in my jam pack. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do you do it? Oh my God, so you're gonna take the needle and then we're gonna make a little tic-tac-toe mark on one of the bottoms of our piece. Okay, tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe. What a fun game. <laughs> Yeah, there we and go. And then you're gonna do it to the body as well, where you're gonna connect it. Okay. Ooh, where should I connect it? Okay, how about right this. here? One, two, 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 three, two, four. Okay. There we go, all right. And then in these cups, these are called slips. So what you're gonna do is you'll dip your finger in the slip. Oh, like glue? It's, gl it's clay glue, basically. <laughs> you're gonna dot the tic-tac-toe. You'll put them together, and then you'll firmly push it so it could Stick to one another. Okay, there we Push go. together? Oh Whoa. yeah, it's sticking. Oh yeah, it did. Check it Whoa. out. Whoa, <laughs> cool, look at mine. Whoa. Good job. One leg done. There oh, we go. That looks so good, Blippi. Oh, yours too. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Wow, guys, your, your animals look great. Thank oh, you. Thank you. What Let's... do we do next? So now we're gonna paint them. Bring Whoa, them to life. Cool. Paint them. Cool. It looks like we have some paint right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, but these brushes look way too big. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. I have paint brushes right here in my jam bag. Oh, you have everything in there. I really do. Oh. I have some more, too, if you want other options. I have a little one. I have a bigger one. I have another little one. I also have a medium size one. Oh. And I also have another one that's, oh, sorry, oh. that's not it. That's a tool. <laughs> and I have a tiny one and I have another tiny one. Whoa. Okay, I'll use this one and this one. Okay, sounds good. Oh, and then we just use these paints and put them on the animals? Yes, you, whatever color you want it, whatever designs you want, you're gonna dip it in and then you'll just paint it onto your, to your animal. Awesome, cool. thank you. Let's do it. Yeah, since you guys have what you need, I'm gonna go check on the kiln and uh, I'll come back in a while to check on you. All okay, right, thank thanks. you. See ya. <laughs> Whoa, wow. cool. Okay, since I'm doing a tiger, I'm gonna use orange. Oh, good idea. Whoa. And I'm gonna use yellow for my dinosaur. It doesn't look like yellow right now, but once it's baked, it's gonna turn to a nice bright yellow. Oh, cool. Check this out. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. Okay. Hey, okay. I've never go. painted clay before. Me neither. Whoa, it's really fun. Oh, see? Whoa. Right now it looks like the same color as the clay. Yeah. I can't wait to see it when it's yellow. Yeah. My orange isn't that bright, but I bet after it gets fired in the kiln, then from there, I bet it'll turn really bright orange. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh look, water. <laughs> Pretty thirsty. <laughs> no, no, Blippi. What? That's for your paintbrush. Oh, smart. <laughs> yeah, you dip your paintbrush in this water. You don't drink it. And so then you can use a different color without mixing them. There you go. Oh, thank you. I I'll, gotcha. I'll get some water later. <laughs> oh, Whoa. a dizzy tiger. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, this Whoa. thing's so cool. Yeah, hey, your tiger looks really good. Wow, yours too. It's oh, so colorful. Thank you. Oh, hey. Hey, Hi. wow, guys, your pieces look great. Yeah, thank you, you like them? They're amazing. Oh, why aren't they so bright and colorful? So once we take them and put them in the kiln, the colors are gonna get a lot bright. Oh, cool. Can't wait to see them. Yeah, so is my orange gonna get like my suspenders and bow tie? Exactly. Whoa, Whoa. and will mine get as bright as the yellow as my headband? Yes. Oh, Whoa. that's fun. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, cool. Well, what do we do next? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take your guys' animals and then I'll put them in the kiln and then you could come get them when they're ready. Oh, oh fun. Sounds like a good okay, plan. Okay, here you Kay. go. See you later, tiger. Okay, be gentle with it. Here you go. Thank you. Bye. 
<laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, See ya. So, wow, that was so nice for teaching us about pottery. Yeah, that was really nice. We learned a lot. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they look like. I know, that was really fun. Yeah. Well, shall we return the aprons? Yeah, let's do it. And then we can come back to pick up our things. Great idea. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Whoa look. cool. This must be where everyone picks up their pottery. Yeah. <gasps> Ours. Yeah. Cool. What do you think? Whoa, she's right. It did turn bright orange. Yeah, it really did. And mine turned bright yellow. Oh, yours looks so great. Thank you. I really like yours, too. Oh, thanks. Hey, shouldn't we go? Yeah, put it by the pig. Yeah, let's go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so much fun today! Yeah, that was a great time making these new friends! Yeah! Whoa! Hey, did you notice? They both roar? That's right, because mine's a dinosaur! And mine is a tiger! <laughs> cool, should we roar together? Yeah, will you roar with us? Ready? Roar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was awesome! Yeah, it was so cool molding that Way and creating these? Yeah. And then using the paintbrushes and coloring them? Yeah. Oh. Oh, making art is so fun. Yeah, especially with friends. Yeah. Oh, speaking of friends. Oh, yeah. Hello. Will you be our friend? Please say yes. Please say yes. Yes. <laughs> we did it. Nice job. Good job. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> cool. B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. Will you spell my name with us? Awesome. M E E K A H. Mika. All right. See you again. Bye bye. 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 And look at what's behind us. <gasps> a, a fire, fire truck. truck! Today we're at High Tech Emergency Vehicle Service. In Oakdale, California. Yep, and here they build fire trucks for cities all over the country. Yeah, wait a second. Mika, I wonder if they'll let us help them build a fire truck Ooh, today. That would be so cool. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. Cool. Yeah. Check out this fire truck. So new and big. Yeah, well this is a type one fire truck. One of the most common fire trucks there is. Wow, I wonder where they use this at. Oh, they use it in cities and towns to put out fires. It's also used in medical emergencies. Oh, so cool. Yeah. Whoa, speaking of cool, oh. Mika, check it out. Another one. Yeah. This one is a lot smaller. This is a type six fire truck. Oh, and look how big that wheel is. Yeah, exactly. This fire truck is used out in the wilderness. Not oh. every fire happens in the city. Yeah. Ooh, and look at this, Mika. Oh, wow, there's a lot of space there. It's really high up. Yeah, if they had to go over a log or a tall rock, so then it doesn't hit the body. Yeah, the chassis of the fire truck. Oh, that's so smart. Oh, <laughs> these are so cool. Yeah, there's so many different kinds of fire trucks. Yeah, and a big bumper. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, this one's really tall. Wow, it kind of looks like a mix between the last two. Yeah, this is a type three fire truck. Wow, it looks pretty tall, uh -huh. but then it has the same kind of body. Yeah, you can use this truck for in big cities. Oh, and out in the wilderness. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Yeah, whoa, Blippi, look. Whoa. Whoa, this looks like the Type 1 fire truck. Yeah, and it's tilted over because they must be working on it. Oh, yeah. And do you see? There's not even the body attached to this fire truck. Yeah, come look. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Look right here. Yeah, there's a lot of tubes and a big engine. Yeah. Ooh, I see the hydraulic fluid. Ooh, some oil. Ooh, a bunch of cylinders. Yeah. This looks very powerful. It's so cool that we get to see the inside of this truck. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what if we can go see how they build these fire trucks? Yeah, let's go check it out. Come on. <laughs> hey. Hey, what's your name? I'm Brian Ruthman. Hi, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, I'm Mika. So what do you do here? I'm the plant supervisor. Oh, cool. But what's this machine? 
Uh, this is a laser. It focuses beams of light through mirrors and we use it to cut through the metal. Whoa, that's awesome. So it makes parts of a fire truck? Yeah, it makes the complete body and everything on the fire truck. Whoa. Wow. So the side of the fire truck. Yeah, the metal parts. This machine cuts them out. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. What are you working on right now? Uh, we knew you were coming, so we decided to uh, draw up a Mika and a Blippi uh, logo. So we're going to be cutting that out on the laser today. Oh, cool. Yeah. So can we watch it be made? Yeah. Yep, we just got to put our safety glasses on. Oh, cool. Yeah, first things it, first. Yeah. Safety first. <laughs> Whoa, how do I look? Oh, very nice. Oh, you too. Safe oh. and protected. <laughs> cool. Oh, can I press the start button? Yeah, it's right over here. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Whoa, check it out, cool. Blippi. Oh, yeah, my name, <laughs> Blippi. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I. <laughs> oh, and look, there's my name. Will you spell my name with us? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Oh, check it out, so many buttons and knobs. And yeah. <gasps> the start button. <laughs> Will you count down with us? Cool. One, three, two, one. Yeah. <gasps> Really good. Oh. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing us how to do that. Yeah, that was really fun. After this machine cuts pieces out of this metal, then what's the next step? Uh, the next step is uh, we take the pieces over to the body tables, and then we go over there and we start welding all the pieces together to form the fire truck oh. body. Oh, wow, cool. <laughs> Could you show us? Yeah, follow me. All oh, right. Okay, let's go. Whoa, I know what this is. This is welding, right? Yep. Oh, welding? I've never welded before. What is it? Ooh, I think I know what it is. Can I answer? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I think it's when you fuse two pieces of metal together with electricity, gas, and heat. Is that correct? Yep, that's right. Oh, wow. That sounds kind of complicated. <laughs> yeah, what's this that uh, they're welding? This is the front of a fire truck body. Whoa. Oh. So much work goes into building a fire truck. Yeah. And wait a second, what are those? Uh, these are your protective gloves and your protective helmet from the arc from the welder to protect your eyes and your oh, vision. Oh, looks like a cool helmet. Yeah. Why do you need to protect your eyes? Because uh, the arc's really, really bright and it'll damage your eyes. Oh. So. <laughs> wow. Well, if someone's going to be welding, do we get those really cool looking helmets? Yep, we have a helmet for each of oh, you here. Awesome. <laughs> Whoa, cool, hey, Mika! Look, Blippi, that's your name! Yeah! Hey, wait a second, <laughs> in your name on yours! So awesome, Whoa. thank you! Ooh, maybe we should try it on. Oh yeah, let's see if they fit. <laughs> Whoa! Hello? 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 Where'd you go? Huh? Oh. Hello? Whoa! It's so dark! Whoa! <laughs> wait, where are you? Oh, it's so dark in there! Yeah, it is! Wow, it's so dark! Whoa. Why do you wear the gloves? to protect you from the heat and the spark during the welding process. Whoa. Smart. <laughs> yep. Yeah, good to be safe. Yep. And are you going to be the welder today? Um, we have Matthew here, and he's going to teach you how to uh, weld the body. Oh, oh, all right, cool. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll be seeing you after this welding fun. Yep, I'll <laughs> catch you later at the paint shop. All, all right, right, see ya. ya. <laughs> oh, nice to meet you, Matthew. How long have you worked here for? Uh, three years now. Ah, cool. We're excited to see you weld. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Let's get started then. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Ooh, he's putting on his gloves. Oh. 
Oh, and is that your really cool looking helmet? Yes, it is. Oh! Wow, oh. so how do you actually <laughs> weld? You'll bring it up to your material uh -huh. or your metal. You'll start, strike the arc and drag, we call it the puddle down of material. Oh! Okay. All right. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're excited. All righty. Put these down now? Yes, sir. Oh, All right. It is time. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Is it safe to pull up our helmets? Whoop. Yes, it is. Oh. Whoa. I can definitely see why you need a helmet. Yeah, that was really, really bright. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you mind if I try? Of course you can. Whoa, Whoa. cool, Blippi. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a jacket for you to protect you from the sparks. Oh, oh. cool. Yeah, safety jacket. Nice! Yeah, how do I look? Oh, nice, it fits well! <laughs> yeah, okay, I should probably button this up, right? All right, yep. so you have your jacket, your helmet, and what else does Blippi need? Gloves! <laughs> okay, let's go like this. Here's one glove. <laughs> and my second glove. Whoa! Two gloves. All right, okay, well, I'm ready. Good luck, Blippi! Thank you! <laughs> Whoa! I think I did a pretty good job! Whoa! Blippi, that was awesome! Oh, look! I fused those pieces of metal together! How was it? It was really exhilarating. <laughs> wow, that was really cool to watch! Yeah! Wow! Well, that was really fun learning about welding! Yeah, thanks for showing us! Yeah. No problem! Well, should we go to the paint shop? Oh, yeah! All right! Let's see what's going on Here. over there! We'll give you those! Thank you so much! All right! Should we take our signs? Yeah, so okay. we can paint them. Awesome. Oh. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah, thank you. Here you go. Okay. All right, see you later. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This paint booth is so big. Yeah, and look, we're wearing our paint suits. Why is this paint booth so big? That's so we can fit a fire truck in it. It's 80 feet long. Wow, you can paint an entire fire truck in here? Yep. Wow, wow, cool. Whoa. Hey, Mika, look, <gasps> our names. Oh, yeah, our signs are hanging up. They're ready to be painted. Whoa. Can we paint those today? Yep, we've got paint uh, sprayers for you, and we've got your colors mixed up, <gasps> ready to go. Oh, I hope that you got purple. And either blue or orange for me. We have purple and orange. <gasps> <Cool>. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> Shall we get Sure, I'll go get your uh, paint sprayers. All right, okay. Get suited up and we'll be ready to go. All Perfect. right. Hey. Glasses like this. Yep, and right. Woo. And the rest of the way. Yes. I'm so ready. Hey, it's going to look so cool. Yeah. I can barely hear you, Nika. What? Wow! Oh, it really was. <gasps> They're nice and dry now. Yeah. Oh, nice purple, Mika. Oh, thank you. A nice orange, Blippi. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey. Wow. How did they look? They look perfect. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thanks for teaching us how to paint these. Yeah, and thank you so much for teaching us how fire trucks are built. Yeah, it was such a fun day. Yeah, I got a surprise waiting for you guys outside. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! We're always ready at the fire station We're always ready to go We're always ready for any mission No time to take it slow So get in the truck and we will drive right there The team is on its way And now we're shooting water at the flames And we will save the day
uses these cool firefighter outfits. <laughs> and a big fire truck. Yeah, it's so awesome here at High Tech Emergency Vehicle Service. In Oakdale, <laughs> California. Yeah, we got to see so many different kinds of fire trucks. Oh yeah, like the ones that fight fires in the city. Yeah, and ones that put out forest fires. Whoa, and it was really cool being able to see that laser machine. Yeah, look at these really neat signs. Yeah. <laughs> and you got to try welding. Oh yeah, that was so cool. Yeah. And you did a very great job with your painting. Thanks, Blippi, you did a great job too. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. Well, if you had fun and want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Yep. Will you spell my name with us? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. -I. Blippi. <laughs> nice. Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Mika. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Wait, did you hear that? Sounds like a fire call. Let's go. Yeah. where we're at. Yep, we're at Triple Play Family Fun Park in Hayden, Idaho. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of fun indoor games here. Yeah, and I actually heard that they have bowling. Yes, I love bowling. Me too, let's go. Whoa! Hey, what's your name? My name's Eva. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you too. What do you do here? Well, I work at the front bowling counter. Oh, oh cool. <laughs> well, we were actually wanting to go bowling. Is that possible? Yeah, of course. Let me get you guys set up on a lane. Okay. And then you're also going to need some shoes. Oh, I yeah. think these will fit you guys. <gasps> Thank Ooh, you. Perfect. Oh, Whoa. yeah. Bowling shoes. Yeah. Look at how smooth they are on the bottom. Yeah, they're really smooth so you can slide around when you're bowling. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And then you don't bring any dirt from your shoes onto the floor. Yeah, everyone has to wear bowling shoes. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're welcome. You guys have fun. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> oh, shall we pick a ball? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Whoa, look wow. how colorful they are. Yeah, oh, look, yellow. One Ooh. of my favorite colors. Whoa, cool. Yeah. Ooh, and look at the number. Oh, this is the number nine. Oh, yeah. And look at this one. Ooh, red. Yeah. Oh, and it says 11 on it. Huh. Huh, I wonder if that's the weight. Yeah, I think you might be right. Here, let's see. Okay, let's trade. Okay. Nine, this is 11. Oh, yeah, this one feels heavier than that one. Yeah, and the nine does feel a lot lighter. Yeah. <laughs> so it must be the weight. That's right. <laughs> okay, here you go. Okay. Here's your nine back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. What else? <gasps> Ooh, Whoa. blue, one of my two favorite colors. Yeah. Ooh, and it has a 10 on it. Oh, so it must be 10 pounds. Yeah. I'm going to keep looking around, right, though. Let's see. Oh. Look at this red one with the number seven on it. Whoa, yeah. cool. Does that feel pretty good? Yeah, this feels good. I think this is the one I'm going to use to go bowling. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, orange, my other favorite color. Yeah. Ooh, and it has a 13 on it. Whoa, 13 pounds. It's really heavy. You want to feel? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Oh yeah, this would be too heavy for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use that one. You're so, then... so strong! <laughs> Thanks, Mika. <laughs> yeah, I plan for it to hit the pins and the pins will go because it's so heavy. Oh, I can't wait to see. <laughs> Shall we go play? Yeah, let's go. All right. <laughs> oh, wow. cool. This is gonna be so much fun. Yeah, ooh, I like how they're all lit up. <laughs> yeah, it's so colorful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who should go first? Oh, you go. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, check this out. Come on. All right, good luck, Blippi. Whoa. Whoa, did you see that? Here, come here. Yeah, I got some of the pins. Yeah, those white things way down there, those are the pins, and the goal is to try and knock them down. Whoa, cool. <laughs> Okay. Did you see that? I saw that. You knocked a lot over. Ah, thanks, Mika. Good job. All right, your turn. <laughs> All right. 
Here I go, lane number four. Whoa! I got nine pins down! <laughs> There's ten pins and you want to knock all of them down. So now I have one left to knock down. It's so fun! Whoa! Whoa! Good job, Mika! Thanks, Blippi! You got way more than I did! <laughs> oh, all right, my turn next! All right, you Come got on. this! Thanks! <laughs> all right, here we go! Oh, yeah, I didn't get all of them! Hey, and did you check this out? Yeah, down here. These are the gutters. Yeah, the gutters and the lane. You want to make sure it goes in the center and not in the gutters, or else you'd get zero if it was in the gutters. <laughs> cool. All right, Mika, your turn. Blippi, did you see how our balls come right back? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's really cool. This is called the ball return. Ooh, sweet. Oh, I have All right. one. Good luck. Thank you. No more pins. <laughs> My turn next. Here, I want to show you something first. <laughs> you see this? Yeah, it's the number three. And then her lane, yeah, is the number four over yeah. there. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we're using different lanes. All right, shall I go? Yep, good luck, Blippi. <laughs> Thanks, Mika. All right, I'm going to use the ball to hit the pins, and I'm going to try and make sure the ball doesn't go in the gutter. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Did you see that? Yeah! I got a spare! I hit all the pins down on my second throw. If I got it on my first throw, that would be called a strike. Yeah! Hey, Mika! Yeah! Yeah, you know how you said that this is the ball return? Yep. Have you ever thought, how does the ball get all the way from back there to here? You're right, there's my ball and it comes back so fast. Huh, I wonder how the ball comes here. You should go check it out. I'll throw my ball down again and you can see how it comes back. That sounds like fun. All right, all right. see ya. <laughs> Whoa, this place is awesome. Yeah, this is definitely behind the chutes of the bowling alley. Hey, I got special permission to climb up there and check it out. Hey, come on. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, cool. Whoa. <laughs> awesome. Look, do you see the pins down there? Yeah. There's definitely 10 pins right there. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. All the pins are attached by strings or ropes or whatnot. Oh, and it's so colorful. Okay, I'm gonna throw my bowling ball down the lane and then Blippi can see how it comes back. All right, here we go. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the ball that Mika threw just came right there. The pins are getting reset. I have to take some pictures for Mika. Whoa! And did you see how the ball went through that gate? Yeah, it looks like a door. That was really cool. All right, I have to show these pictures to Mika. She's gonna think they're so cool. <laughs> oh, oh, Mika! Hey, oh, Mika! It was so cool back there. Really? What did you learn? Yeah, well first there's the 10 pins. Yeah? Yeah, and then when you threw the ball, it hit some pins and then they all fell down. Uh-huh. Yeah, and actually the pins are attached to this machine with rope and string. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and then it pulls them up, straightens them down, and sets them back down gently. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, and then the ball, <laughs> it's on a slope right here. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the ball goes down the slope and then into this gate door, and then it flings back to you. What, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah, I actually took some pictures oh. for you. You like oh, it? Oh, I see. Cool, huh? Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, really well, neat. Shall we play some bowling? Yeah, let's keep playing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whoa. All, All right. right. Good luck. <laughs> okay, you too. Whoa! Ah! Oh, almost <laughs> a strike! <laughs> Woo! Whoa, Two nice! Pins. Thanks, Whoa. Blippi! <laughs> yeah, you almost got it! Yeah, so close! <laughs> cool! 
Oh, looks like my ball's back. Here's yours. Whoa, all right, all right. here I go. Go, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, so close again. <laughs> all right, here we go. Oh, I have three pins left. <laughs> oh, wait, Mika, look. I have three <gasps> pins left too. No way. Yeah, we got the same pins knocked down. Yeah, we knocked down seven pins. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's throw them at the same time to see if we both get spares. Good idea. <laughs> okay. All right, are you ready? Yep. <laughs> three, three, two, one. Five. at bowling too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> now, it's really interesting how different bowling balls are different weights. Yeah, and they have the number right on the ball so you know how heavy it is. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's so cool how there's 10 pins. Yeah. And if you get all 10 of them down on your first throw, it's a strike. And if you get them all down on your second throw, it's a spare. Yeah. <laughs> well, I sure do love bowling. Yeah, especially with you, Blippi. Aw, you too, Mika. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Will you spell my name with us? Yeah. <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -I. Blippi, good job. Will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> okay. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> All right, see you again. Bye-bye. See you later. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. Hey, it's me, Mika. Yeah, and today we're here at the New York City Fire Museum in New York City, New York. Yep, and we're going to learn something very important today. Fire, fire safety. safety. <laughs> yeah, fires can be dangerous. So it's important to know what to do so you keep yourselves and your home safe. <laughs> yep, that's right. Let's go in. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, Blippi, look where we're at. Whoa, well, look. We're here at the Fire Safety Learning Center. Yep, yeah. that's right. It's really important to learn about fire safety in your home. Yeah, it definitely is. Hey, maybe we can find some friends to teach us what to do in case there's a fire. Oh yeah, let's go see. <laughs> Oh, hey! Oh, hi! Hi, Blippi. Hi, Mika. Hi! Hi, Blippi. Hi, Mika. What are your names? I'm Firefighter Harriet. I'm hi. Firefighter Tom. Oh, it's nice to meet you both. Yeah. <laughs> You're two firefighters, so you must know a lot about fire safety. Well, yes, I was on the job uh, since 1982 for quite a while. Wow, so you know. Right, and I'm an engine person, Engine 33. Oh, cool! Well, thank you for being a firefighter and helping us. Yeah! Yeah! And I'm a retired firefighter also. And Harriet and I 
work as a fire museum. We teach, teach young people about fire safety. Wow, that's a really important how job. how to protect ourselves and how to uh, get out of a fire in case you, you need to get out of a fire. Wow, well, thank you. Aww, yeah, <laughs> so what should we learn first? Well, we have four rooms here. Oh. And let's start out with the kitchen. Okay. The most dangerous room in the house. Really? Yes, wow. yes. Wow. Well, let's take a look at the kitchen, Blippi. Okay. And, and let us know what you see in here that's dangerous. Okay. All right. You can help, too. Okay, yeah. There's a lot of things in the kitchen that help cook food. Yeah. And those things can be hot. So I think that's why it's the most dangerous room. Yeah, <laughs> like this oven. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, it's nice and warm. <laughs> Ooh, and it's really good for cooking. Yeah, but ovens can get super duper hot. So you want to make sure to stay far away from ovens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And look at this. It's a stovetop. Whoa, stovetops can get very hot too. Look how red that one is. <laughs> yeah, you definitely don't want to touch a burner. No. <laughs> You'd get burned. <laughs> yep. Hmm, Let's what, see else? what else is in this kitchen? Ooh. Oh, you know what this is, Blippi? Yeah, it's a microwave. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, and what's right. inside? Oh, it looks like a metal can, and you never want to put metal in a microwave. Mm -hmm. Never. <laughs> no, it could spark, and that could cause a fire. Yeah. Hmm. Whoa, what about these two? Oh, I see an iron. Oh, well, you might need an iron to iron something, like my shirts. <laughs> yeah, but irons can also get very hot, and you could get seriously burned, so mm -hmm. you need to be very careful. Always use an iron. Well, actually, just ask a grown-up for help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a toaster. Yeah, I love toast, especially with butter or jam <laughs> or jelly. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, but a toaster can also get very hot. Yeah, mm. and you don't want to cause a fire by putting something metal in a toaster or mm, you just want to be safe around it. <laughs> That's right. Oh, huh, what if anything's in here? <gasps> Blippi. I see a lighter. Yeah, and I see some matches. Yeah, these things can start fires. You never want to play with these. Yeah. This is for grown-ups only. Grown-ups only. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. hey, I wonder what's in here. Mm, this one's locked. Oh, no oh. way. Check it out. It's a fire extinguisher. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to have one of these in your homes because it puts out fire. Yeah, <laughs> if a fire happens to start, it's always good to have one of these around. That's right. <laughs> mm. Wow. We found a lot of things. <laughs> I didn't realize there are so many things in a kitchen that could potentially start a fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did we get everything? I think you did, but we have other room. We have another room here. Oh, you really? see another room? Yeah. Lippy, we have the living room. Oh, the living room. You can take oh. a look around and see if you can find anything that could be dangerous. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Huh. Well, it looks like a regular living room to me. Yeah. Hmm. What's over there? Whoa. Well, this is the radiator, right? Yeah. It keeps the home warm okay. and it can get very, very hot. Ooh. <laughs> but what's on top of it? Uh-oh. There's a towel on the radiator. Yeah, that is not good. Mm. <laughs> yeah. That could definitely start a fire. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Oh, what about these? Oh, candles. I love candles. They're so pretty. <laughs> and they smell so good. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, there's one candle, two candles. Yeah, and it's by a stack of books. I would not want a candle to fall over on the books and start a fire. Mm -mm. Yeah, books are made of paper, and paper can catch on fire if it's too close to the candle. <laughs> That's right, and there's more candles over here. Oh, three candles? Four candles, five candles. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. These beautiful flowers, look at this one. It's kind of leaning. What if it leaned all the way over and got in one of the flames? Yeah, hmm, that would not be good. Yeah, no. you want to make sure if you have a candle, it's not close to anything big or heavy that could knock over the candle. That's right, and make sure if you leave the house to blow out all of your candles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> Tom, did we get everything? Excellent job, Lippy. Excellent job, Mika. You found everything. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Well, that was so much fun. Is there another room that we could explore? We have the bedroom. Harry, you want to show in the bedroom? Yes, follow me. All right, let's Here check it out. <laughs> oh, what's this? Whoa. Oh, this is a bedroom. Oh, check it out. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a bedroom. I'd like you guys to look around okay. and let me know if you see any dangerous places in here. Oh, do you see anything? Ooh, Mika, look over here. Oh, another radiator, and there's a towel on it. Uh-oh, <laughs> you definitely don't want to put a towel on a radiator. No. Oh, and what about this? 
Oh, an outlet, and it looks like there are two things plugged into it. Oh yeah, that could short circuit and start a fire too. Yeah. Hmm. Very good, you guys are good. <laughs> ah, thanks. <laughs> now, in a fire, do you see any place in here that we can hide? Hmm. Well, I don't think we want to hide during a fire because if there's a fire and a firefighter's looking for us, we want to be able to be found and helped. <laughs> Some of the worst places that firefighters find children are hiding under the bed, in their toy chest, mm. and they even go into closets and think they can hide from smoke. Oh, oh. That makes sense because sometimes when you're feeling a little scared, you want to go and hide. But in this case, you don't want to hide so the firefighters can find you easily. Yeah, the that's right. firefighters aren't scary. <laughs> that's right, it would take a lot longer, okay? Now, in a fire, you need to have two ways out. Okay, two, two ways. ways out. So, if we couldn't go out this door, do you see any other way to get out of here? Hmm. Oh, the window down the fire escape. Oh, yeah. Very good. We have a lot of fire escapes in New York City. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, look, and there's one right here. It's a fire escape. See this part here? Mm -hmm. It looks like a balcony. Yeah, right outside your window. Yep, and here's a ladder that goes all the way down to the street. <laughs> yeah, so then you can get out of the window instead of using the door. Yep. Hmm. Good job, good job. Now, if we go out, do we just run out? Um, I don't know. If the door feels cold, maybe we could just open it and walk out? No, no. What you have to do is get low and go. Oh, okay. Get low and go. That's okay. right. Because firefighters, you see them crawling in the apartments on their knees. All the heat and gases go up, so we have to go low. Mm. All right, that's really easy to remember. Get yeah. low and go. Oh, and how do we know that there's not a fire behind the door? Well, we have to check. Okay. okay. Well, how do we check? You take your hand and you put it on the door and use the back of your hand because you're going to need the front to crawl out. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, you don't want burnt hands because when you're crawling, that would really hurt. It'd be hard to crawl. Mm -hmm. And we never ever touch the metal on the door. That's oh. the first thing that heats up. Okay, good to know. So don't touch the doorknob. Touch the middle of the door with the back of your hand to feel if it's cold or hot. Woo, right. got it. Huh? Oh, do you think we could practice? That's, I think that's a good idea. Okay. Okay? <laughs> All right. So I need one of you to come up and touch the door. Oh, go okay. for it, Blippi. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go see if the door's warm. Maybe there's a fire on the other side. <laughs> Ooh. Is it hot or cold? It's cold. So can we go out? Yeah, we can go out. Yeah, but okay. we have to go low. Remember? Go and go. And let's see you get down. Okay. On your hands and knees, because we have to crawl like a baby. Yeah. Okay, we're going to pretend like there's a fire. Yeah, this is just an exercise for pretend, so we can practice what to do in case there was a real fire. But it's not a real fire. No, no. <laughs> okay, so let's get low and go. <laughs> Whoa. All right. And one other thing. Raise your right hand. Good job. You're going to use that right hand because you're going to follow the wall all the way to the other door. Okay? Do not go down the middle of the room. You will get lost, okay. especially if it's dark and smoky. Wow, you know so much, Harriet. Thank you so much for teaching us about fire safety. Oh, it's my pleasure. I want everybody to get out safely. Ah, uh, thank oh, you. It's so nice awesome. to meet you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Let's practice. Okay, okay. time to practice. All right, here we go. It. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's cold. Okay, here we go. <laughs> All right. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Keep your hand against the wall. Yes, oh, there's a door. Maybe we could go through this door. Oh yeah, check it to see if it's hot or cold. Okay. Whoa, it's really warm. Oh. I think there's a fire on the other side. We should not open the door. <laughs> Let's keep following the wall for another exit. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, I see how it's helpful to use your hand as a guide on the wall. Yeah. The smoke can be kind of scary, but since we know what to do, we can get out safely. Yeah! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, I see another door, Blippi. Okay. 
Hmm. Let's see if we can get out this door. Okay. Oh, it's cold. Oh, great. Okay, here we go. All ready. Whoa, come on, Mika. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Nice. <laughs> congratulations, Blippi. Congratulations, Mika. You made it out safe. Oh, thanks, Tom. Oh, you thank even you. remember to close the door. Yep. Because that contains the fire. Oh, that's right. Great job. Oh, well, thank you so much for teaching us about fire safety and our homes. You're very welcome. <laughs> yeah, we had a great time here today and hope to come back soon. Yeah. Thank you for visiting us here at the fire museum. All right, well, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Whoa, that was awesome. Yeah, we <laughs> learned so much about fire safety. We did. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, can you spell my name with us? Okay, <laughs> here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. Philippi, <laughs> good job. Nice. <laughs> hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you soon. All right, see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. Hi, and I'm Mika. <laughs> and today, we're here at the New York Fire Museum in New York City, New York. <laughs> yep, New York City is a really big city with a ton of people mm -hmm. in it. And it's so loud. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. And firefighters have a very dangerous job of putting out fires. So they have a lot of training they have to do before they become firefighters. <laughs> Whoa! Firefighters are so cool. <laughs> yeah, they're the real heroes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And they help put out fires and save people. <laughs> They're just awesome. They <laughs> really are. Let's go in and explore. Okay, come on. <laughs> oh, <gasps> let me oh. check it out. Look. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Whoa, oh. these are fire alarms. Yeah, fire alarms are really important because it's a way you can tell firefighters there's a fire. Emergency. <laughs> yeah, maybe you've seen a fire alarm in the building that you live in or in a school. They're mm -hmm. usually a lot smaller than this. Really tiny. <laughs> but these are so big. They're so big and they're all around the city. Yeah, in New York City on the street, you might see one of these. Yeah, yeah check it out. Whoa. Lift this up and you pull this down and it sends an alarm to the fire station so that they can come and put out the fire. <laughs> yeah, and look. There's a number on it. Yep. One, one, three. Ooh, and mine has one too. Nine, three, seven. Oh, what do those mean? <laughs> yeah, if you pull this fire alarm, this number helps the firefighters know where to go. Yeah, in the firehouse, the fire station, <laughs> a bell would ring nine times, it would ring three times, and it would ring seven times. So wow. the firefighters know where to go. That's so cool. And you can still use these today. You can? Yeah, they still work? That's right. Even though they're kind of old. Yeah, they <laughs> still work. <Yeah. laughs> Whoa. And they're made out of metal. Yeah. Nice and sturdy. Yeah, this one's so pretty. Oh, it looks so old, like Rockefeller Center. You're right. So beautiful. <laughs> that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Speaking of fighting fires, I wonder what firefighters used to wear. Oh, well, I'm glad you asked because I see something over here. Come on. Oh, no see. way. Yeah. Check it out. Whoa. Yep. See. Oh, Flippy. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, firefighter jacket. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you should try this on, Blippi. Oh, oh, no way! It's a New York City fire helmet! Yep. Whoa! Look, these are so important because they're nice and hard. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to protect the firefighter's head. Whoa, and look, it has a number on it. Do you see? A three and a zero. The number 30. Yeah, and look, it has this big, Mm, looks like, kind of like a patch. Yeah. yeah. It's the color black. Yeah, I wonder why some helmets are red and some are black. Oh, yeah, because they have different vehicles. <laughs> oh. If it's the color black, then it's a fire engine. But mm, let's say it's the color red, then it would be a fire truck. <laughs> oh, Whoa. and a fire truck has a ladder on it, right? Yeah, that's right. And a fire engine has a really big hose. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, let's try it on. Okay. Here we go. How does it feel? Whoa. Whoa. Is it heavy? <laughs> it's so heavy. Whoa. 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 Look. And, hmm. oh, I have goggles. 
Yeah, you have double protection. Yeah. Glasses and goggles. Whoa. Or a shield, I guess. <laughs> a shield. Whoa, look. It also Whoa. protects my hair and my eyes from any really hot, hot fire. Yeah, yeah that's <laughs> super important for firefighters to protect themselves when they're fighting fires. Mm -hmm. You can also wear this jacket, Flippy. Whoa. 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 I'm starting to look and feel like a real firefighter now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. These Check jackets are so important because they protect you and they're made out of fireproof material. Oh, fireproof? Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Yeah, it helps so that firefighters don't get too hot when they're really close to the fire. Yeah. <laughs> fire resistance. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a firefighter jacket too. Whoa. Oops. Oops, I put my arm through the wrong hole. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> There okay. you go. Whoa, that's good. Oh, and why, why would you wear one of these jackets? Now this you would wear if you're going to a nice event or maybe marching in a parade. Ooh, I love parades. Yeah, me too. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. <laughs> oh, firefighters are awesome. Yeah, look. <laughs> and sometimes firefighters get a little chilly, so they just need to wear a regular jacket. Yep. So they have jackets like this. Yeah. Whoa, and look, it has a really cool patch. Whoa. Yeah, it says, City of New York. <laughs> yeah, because that's where we are. Yep. Whoa, <laughs> this is pretty cool. Yeah. Learning all about the things that firefighters need to fight fires. Yeah, let's keep exploring. I really want to find a fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Whoa. Whoa, look at it. <laughs> wow. Whoa. It looks like this is the very first fire engine. <laughs> that's right, and look how small it is. Yeah, you see, it's so small. Yep, oh. and this, Whoa! Whoa! What's this? It's a big pole? Yeah! Oh, whoa! It's so big! <laughs> yeah! Oh, hey! I think it goes up there! Oh, you're right! Okay! <laughs> Here we go! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa! Look! Oh! And I think one goes on the other side! Oh! <laughs> whoa! You got it? I think I got it! Look! <laughs> whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Easy! Whoa. Easy! easy. <laughs> okay! Whoa! Whoa, check it out. Yeah, these posts would go on either side. <laughs> yeah, and two people would pump it on either side to help the fire hose work. Yep, it <laughs> took some serious teamwork. Yeah. The hose Open would away. connect to this part right here and they would pump up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. <laughs> yeah. And Blippi, do you know what this is? Whoa. <laughs> No, what is that? It's so loud because it's the first fire siren. Yeah! Whoa, it's so loud. Yeah, isn't that cool? Ooh. Ooh. Can I give it a try? Yeah, of course. Okay, here we go. Fire! Woo! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, the firefighters would use this to make sure that everyone knew there's a fire. You need to be careful. Yep. Ooh. Whoa, and what are these buttons oh. for? These are really sturdy, cool buckets. Everyone yeah. in the neighborhood would have one so that they could help put out the fire. Oh yeah, I think it was called the Bucket Brigade. That's right, the Bucket Brigade. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Put out the fire with this because back then they didn't have fire extinguishers and sometimes it was hard to get hoses around the right spot. Yep, oh, everyone would just work together. Yeah, teamwork. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, hey, Anika, what's that over there? Whoa, check this out. <gasps> oh, look how big this wheel is. Whoa, it's so big. It's almost as big as you. I know. Look. It's almost as big as me. <laughs> wow. Oh, check it out. This looks like another fire engine. Hmm. Yeah. But this one doesn't have those hand cranks. No. Or the pumps. <laughs> no. Nope. No, this looks like it used steam. Yeah. Steam? Huh. Kind of worked like a kettle. Whoa. Maybe you've seen one of these before in Ooh. your kitchen. <laughs> yeah. If you want a cup of tea, you can just boil some water and steam comes out the top. <laughs> yeah. So that's what firefighters would use to put out the fire. Steam. Yeah. Steam can be very powerful. Yeah, okay. and very hot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they would make a fire to put out a fire? What? Make a fire to put out a fire? <laughs> Isn't that silly? <laughs> Ooh, and would they use this? Yes, they would use this coal. They'd burn the coal, start a fire right in here. Ooh. So imagine that this is like a giant kettle. Yeah, <laughs> had water in here, fire down below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it would boil, boil. <laughs> and then the steam would help to make the hose work. Yeah. Yep, 
it would turn all these gears and all the parts of the machinery. <laughs> yeah. And then would make the hose work. Ooh, and look, there's a fire hose. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. This Ooh. is awesome. Well, I'm gonna go put up the kettle. <laughs> oh yeah, good idea. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. And did you know cool. that horses would pull this? Oh yeah, because back then, they didn't have vehicles that could drive like today. No, they needed horses to help. That's so, right. Yeah, they yeah. would take care of them too. Oh, <laughs> look out, I think this thing's on. Oh! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Oh. Whoa, hey, look Whoa. at this. There's another fire engine. <laughs> See? Wow, this one's even bigger. It's Whoa. so big. <laughs> Yeah, they oh. just keep getting bigger and bigger with time. Oh, Mika, huh? hmm, there's a rope here. You want to pull it? Sure, I don't see a sign saying that I can't pull it. Yeah, I Let's think see. we can do it. Oh. <laughs> what? Whoa, <gasps> did you hear that? Whoa. Whoa, that's a really loud bell. Really loud, oh, oh. I see it up there. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> That's awesome! Yeah! Whoa. Now we have sirens, but back then they would use a loud bell so people knew that there was a fire and that a fire engine was coming through. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this! This fire engine doesn't look like it needed horses. Nope. It has wheels and tires, just like a modern day one. <laughs> and look, a steering wheel! Yeah! This engine actually had an engine. Whoa. Yeah, you've probably seen a steering wheel before. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Whoa, what's Ooh. that? Well, only one way to find out. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's a siren. Yeah, it would tell people that there's a fire. Yeah, oh. now sirens sound like <laughs> But not back then. No, they sounded a lot different. Yeah, <laughs> loud noises are important to let people know that something very important is happening and to be careful and get out of the way. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was pretty fun <laughs> learning about all these vehicles. Hey, maybe we could see some more fire engines. Maybe even a fire truck. Yeah, oh, I hope so. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Check out this fire truck. Whoa, what kind of truck is this? Hmm, it's really big and it looks like there are ladders on it. Yeah. Hey, this is a killer ladder truck. Yeah. yeah. It's so cool. See the big ladders. Oh, it's <laughs> so big. Yeah. Why wouldn't they need ladders? So that they can climb up to the top of buildings. <laughs> yeah. And for really high places to put out the fire. Yep. That's right. And if you look behind you there, Blippi, here's an old fire extinguisher. Whoa. Yeah. Fire extinguishers are definitely helpful for putting out fires, too. Yeah. <laughs> you may have one in your house, even. Yeah. Or see one at school. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> Here. I'll help Here you get it go. out. Whoa. It's really big and heavy. Pretty heavy. <laughs> Whoa! This is so tall! Yeah! You know what it is? This is called a six foot hook! Whoa! <laughs> That's just what it is! Yeah, look, it's a little hook! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, and this is really helpful for firefighters a long time ago. Yeah, because they would break a hole in maybe the ceiling, the wall, so yep. that they could put some water with the hose through the hole. Yeah! Break it and then spray in the water. Yeah, it also lets the smoke rise up out of the building. Yeah! because smoke and heat rise. Sometimes right. a firefighter might need to break a window so the smoke can get out and the fire doesn't keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, oh Whoa. wow. Whoa, that's, that's really cool. It's really cool. Here, I'll help you. Whoa. Here you go. And Mika, what's this? Oh, so this is where a driver would sit to help steer the back wheels. Yeah, this part is called the tiller. Yep, there are two drivers. Two drivers? There's one in the back to steer the wheels, and there's one in the front with the horses. Whoa, yeah. yeah. You know that a tiller ladder truck? Yeah, it was pulled by horses. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, no horses today. But nope. back then, they needed horses. Mm -hmm. Whoa. An engine. Wow, oh, look at it. It's Whoa. so big, and it's the color red. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, and look, yeah. 
this is where the engine is. Yep. Oh, this it's is so, so big. Cool. <gasps> and look, Flippy, a bell and a siren. Hey, yeah, we've seen a bunch of those today. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is a really cool fire engine because, yeah, it didn't use steam or manpower pumping <laughs> the hose. <laughs> no, it uses gasoline. Yeah, the hose runs on gasoline. Yeah, there'll be an engine and yep. it would make the hose work. Oh, that's right. And if you look at the top here, Blippi, you'll see the hose. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> yeah, that's a big, powerful one. It's really strong and a ton of water can come out of it. Whoa, yeah. There's a hose that a firefighter could hold, but if there was a fire really, really high up, <laughs> they could spray it with this giant sprayer. Whoa! <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah. Whoa. And what are these? Hmm, what are those? Hmm. Kind of hard? Wait a minute, those are nozzles. Yeah. You're so right, that goes on the end of a hose. Yeah, so you can maybe spray a wider spray of water or a really narrow spray. Yeah. <laughs> so you can do whatever you need to put out the fire. Yep, that's so smart. <gasps> hey, we should pretend to be real firefighters. Oh yeah, that sounds super oh, fun. Do you hear that? Let's go put out the fire! Okay! To the fire! Okay! so much about firefighters, but <laughs> we should probably return our jackets. Oh, yep. <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> wow, and firefighters have been around for so long, keeping our neighborhoods nice and safe. Yeah, do so many things to help. <laughs> and they use a lot of equipment and gear. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Help put out those fires. Whoa, they're pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much, firefighters, for being real life heroes and keeping everyone nice and safe. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of our videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Mm -hmm. Hey, can you spell my name with me? Okay, <laughs> here we go. B L I. P-P-I! So let me good job! <laughs> Will you spell my name with us? Awesome! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! <laughs> well, I'll see you soon! Bye-bye! See you later! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi! Hi, and I'm Mika! And look at where we're at! We're at Artists at Play! Yep, in Seattle, Washington! And this place is so cool! You can play like an artist! That's right! You can climb, you can dance, you can even make music! <laughs> that sounds like so much fun! Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yeah, let's go! <laughs> Whoa! Wow. Cool! This looks like the yellow song fence! Whoa, a song fence? That sounds cool! I wonder how you do it! Whoa! Look at these balls! Interesting! <laughs> Whoa! That sounds great! Yeah! And they sounded a little different! Yeah, let's hear it again! Oh. This one was higher than that one. Yeah, mine was a little lower. Wait a second. Let's widen out and see what that sounds like. Good idea. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. My side is higher pitch. Yeah, and my side is lower. Let's go even wider. Okay. Ready? Yep. Ooh, that was really low. <laughs> Whoa, this side is high and that side is low. Yeah. Wait a second, since you're good at singing, let's check your pitch. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good job, Mika, uh -huh. you're a great singer. Thanks, let's check your pitch. <laughs> okay. Let's go up here. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Oh. Not bad. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Wait. I have an idea. Why don't we start down there and go from really high? Wait, that side was low, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the low side. Okay, go from really low down to up to really high. Yeah, we can hear all the notes. Come on. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. Oh. Keep playing. Yeah, let's do it. 
do it. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh. This is fun. You want to go higher? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going so high. Yeah. Do you want to turn? <gasps> yeah. All right, here I go. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, that was awesome. That was so cool. Thanks, Mika. Whoa. All right. All righty. How high do you want to go? Well, I'm maybe not as high as you. I might fly right over. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Here we go. The swing is making sounds like a bell. Oh, yeah, it is. Wow, it's so peaceful. Yeah. A little higher? <laughs> sure. All right. Whoa, look how high I am. Yeah, <laughs> you are going so high. Whoa. Whoa. Are you having fun? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> we make some great music yeah, together. Yeah, this place is cool. Yeah. Whoa, speaking of cool, check this out. What is this? Wow. Whoa, a really big rock. Whoa, and really small rocks. Whoa. Whoa. What are these? Maybe you just play with rocks. But there's things dangling inside. Oh, you're right. Wait, huh. what if we drop rocks on them? Try it. Oh, what a fun way to make music. Oh, yeah, and there's some over here. Oh, let's try it out. Whoa, this one only has two, a big one and a small one. Yeah, I wonder if one will be high and one will be low. All right, let's try it out. All right, ready? Yep. Okay. Wow. Oh. oh, so the small one made a high-pitched noise. Yeah, and this one, the bigger one, made a lower noise. Oh, hey, I have an idea for a very, 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 very fun game. Oh, what is it? <laughs> okay, I will drop rocks on these two items. Uh -huh. And then if it's the high pitch, you jump high. Okay. And if it's the low pitch, you squat down real low. Awesome. Oh, will you play with me? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. I'm going to just use my ears and listen. Hey. Mm-hmm. Every single one right. Nice. You did a good job, too. Good job. <laughs> well, shall we? Yeah, let's keep looking. Oh, Mika, check oh, it out. Oh, that looks like so much fun. <laughs> wow. This is a jungle gym, and it looks like it's made out of rope. Yeah, and you can climb up the rope, which is so cool. Yeah. Wait a second. Why don't we climb up higher than where we're at right now? Yeah, and things will look differently up high. That sounds like fun. Let's, let's go. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be fun to see what we can see up here. Yeah, we could climb really high. Whoa, you're doing a great job. You too, Bliffy. Oh, thank you. Whoa, Whoa. this is cool. We can see so much from up here. Yeah, we're really high up. We can see the whole playground. Oh, yeah, there's the swings. Whoa, and Whoa. where we made some music? Yeah. Whoa. Hey, guess what I have? What? I brought my telescope. Whoa, cool. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> you scared Gotcha. Me. <laughs> and check it out, the space needle. Whoa, it's so high up. Yeah. Hey. What? I wonder if we can get even higher, as high as the space needle. Oh, yeah. If we go to the top of the space needle, I bet we're going to see things differently from yeah. way up high. We'll probably see even more. Cool. Let's go. Okay. Whoa, let me check it out. The elevator that will take you up 52 floors. Whoa, that's really high. I'm excited. I know, me too. <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. A, a race. race. <laughs> I'll take the stairs. And I'll take the elevator. All right, and we'll see who wins. Yes, let's do it. Ready? Yep. Three, Three two, two, one, go. I can't believe I get to go to the very top of the Space Needle. I wonder if I'm going to beat Blippi. This elevator's really fast. Did you know? 
that the Space Needle is over 600 feet tall? That's more than 180 meters. <laughs> very, very tall. Whoa, we're so high up now. Oh, I think we're almost to the top. 830, 831, 832. Yeah, I made it to the top of the Space Needle. Oh, I am very tired though. Oh, that's a lot of steps. Oh, wait a second, where's Mika? Hey, Flippy! Oh, hey, Mika! You made it to the top of the Space Needle! Yeah, I can't believe you got here first! Well, I am pretty fast. You are really fast! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! What a beautiful view! Yeah, come look! And it looks like there's a deck right here. Oh, this must be the observation deck! You are so smart, Mika! <laughs> Shall we go check it out? Yeah, let's do it! Whoa, Whoa, this place is awesome! Yeah, check out this incredible view! Whoa, and do you see all that water? Oh, that's called the Elliott Bay! Oh, it is? Yep! Wow, <laughs> I bet there's a lot of fish in there! Oh, I bet you're right! Oh, I see a lot of boats! Oh, and buildings and yeah. green trees! Oh, yeah, so pretty! Yeah! Did you know these trees are called evergreen trees? They stay green year-round! So cool! <laughs> yeah! Some people call Seattle the Emerald City because of all of the green trees. Because Emerald is green. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mika, why is this place called the Space Needle? It's mm. not like we're up in space. <laughs> That's true. Well, in the World's Fair a really long time ago, it was space themed. So they built this tower that looks like something maybe you'd find in space, right? Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. we're so high up. I feel like we are getting close to space. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> well, shall we keep exploring? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, this has been wow. so much fun. Yeah. Whoa, cool. Oh, oh. Whoa, what? Mika, watch out. Oh, you almost fell through. It's okay. It's a glass floor. <laughs> Whoa, are you sure it's safe and yep. strong? It's actually 10 layers of glass, which means it's as strong as walking on concrete. See? Whoa, be careful. <laughs> totally Do you think safe. it's safe enough for me to come on too? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it feels kind of funny. You got this. Whoa. Oh, all, right. Whoa. all right. There you go. All right. See? Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I guess it is safe. Whoa, <laughs> this is really cool. I know, right? Oh, and look down there. Yeah, you can see all the way to the ground. Yeah, everything looks so small. Uh-huh. Shall we lay down? Oh, good idea. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Wow, they look like ants, but they're actually people. Yeah, it's so teeny tiny. Whoa. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Wait a second. Mika, do you see what I see? We're moving. Whoa. Yeah. A rotating glass floor? Yeah, and it's the only rotating glass floor in the world. Whoa, cool. This is awesome. I know, it's really fun. Whoa. Uh, yeah, and if it rotates and goes all the way around, we can stand right here and see the whole city 360 degrees. Oh, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Speaking wow. of cool, look at the view. Yeah, look at all of those houses. Wow, that building is so big. Whoa, really big, <laughs> but not as tall as this tower. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, wow. and that's a big lake over there. Oh, yeah. What do you see? Oh, I see some traffic over there. Whoa. Oh, there's a football field. Whoa, cool. That looks like fun. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of fun, the playground we were on oh, earlier. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, do you want to get a closer look? Uh, yeah. How do we do that? I brought binoculars. Whoa, cool, Mika. <laughs> yeah, you want to share? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> wow, let's look out there. Whoa. Whoa, look at that person. Oh. Cute oh. bag. Hello, sir. <laughs> oh, I wonder where he's going. Oh, in a big hurry, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look up here. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, a rainbow. It's so colorful. 
Oh, I love rainbows. Yeah, do you know how rainbows are made? Oh, tell us. Well, light shines through a bunch of water molecules, and then it creates a rainbow. Yeah, and they're so pretty. Wow, <laughs> this has been so much fun up here. Oh, what a cool way to see the city. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> do you know what day it is? Rainbow day. It's rainbow day, yeah. Flippy, how you do? Day. It's so colorful. Wow, that was so much fun. Yeah, I had a great day learning and playing with you, Glippy. Oh, me too, Mika. Wow, wasn't that so much fun playing at the Artist of Play? Yeah, we made such cool music with those sound machines. Oh, <laughs> and it was really fun racing to the top of the Space Needle in Seattle. Yeah, Glippy, you were really fast. Well, it was really tiring. That's a lot of stairs. Yeah, I was impressed. <laughs> yeah, speaking of impressed. Yeah, the view was incredible. Yeah, and this glass floor Whoa. was so awesome. Yeah, I love the Space Needle. <laughs> yeah, me too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with us? Yeah. <laughs> B-L-I. P-P-I! Flippy! Good job! Hey, will you spell my name with us? Cool! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H! Mika! <laughs> Alright, see you again! Bye-bye! <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika! And today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. Billy Bee's is an indoor playground, so it's a great place to play and have fun and use our imaginations. Come on! Whoa! Hey, it looks like we're in a town. We could definitely use our imaginations here. <gasps> Wait, this looks like a mailbox. Huh, I actually have something I need to mail. A note from my grandma. <laughs> There you go. Nice. Whoa! Come in here! Hey! We could imagine that we're at a grocery store. Yeah! Have you ever been to a grocery store before? To pick out some yummy food? Hmm, let's see. Ooh, waffles. That's yummy for breakfast. There's lots of breakfast food here. Cereal. Ooh, 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 oh, cheese crackers, and a mini pretzels. Let's go, we have to pay for it. <laughs> okay, I'll just ring myself up. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Cheese crackers, okay, and we have some cereal. Oh, 
quite a deal. I love this store. Waffle and pretzels. Okay, looks like it's oh, only three dollars. Wow. Okay, looks like I can take my snacks and go home. <laughs> oh, it's so fun to use your imagination, right? All right, well, let's keep playing. I wonder what else is in this town. Hmm. Hey, this looks super fun. Oh, come in here. We could imagine that we're in school. Whoa, a clock. So colorful. <laughs> Will you count with me? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, <laughs> nine, 10, 11, 12. <gasps> it looks like it's time for school to start. We better get to class. <clears throat> Everyone settle, settle, settle. Hello, I'm your teacher, Teacher Mika. Okay, today we are going to learn how to count strawberries. Ready, class? <clears throat> A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strawberries. Good job. <laughs> oh, what's this? Look at this. I see a pattern. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow. Do you know what's next? That's right. Red. Whoa. <laughs> well, looks like class is over, everyone. You deserve a break. Go outside and play. <laughs> All right, how else can we use our imagination? What's this? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Looks like some toy tools and instruments. Hey, these are all things that doctors and nurses use, like a stethoscope. Let's check my heartbeat here. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Heartbeat. Dun, dun. Heartbeat. Dun, dun. Heartbeat. Dun, dun. Heartbeat. Wow. My heartbeat has a good beat. <laughs> what else? Hmm. Oh. Maybe you would wear this name tag so everyone would know what your name was. Dr. Mika. <laughs> That's cool. And nutritious nibbles for healthy and happy kids. <laughs> That's really funny. Looks like pretend vitamins or something. Oh, have you ever seen a tool like this? Sometimes doctors use something like this to check your reflexes. Let's check my reflexes. <clears throat> All right, usually they hit you in the knee right here. Ready? Whoa! Did you see that? Let me try the other leg. Whoa! <laughs> I have really good reflexes. <laughs> All right, I'll put this back. <sighs> it's so fun playing. I wonder what else they have here. Come on. Whoa! Hey, look over here! Even with basic shapes, you can use your imagination. Like, come down here. This is a my dog house. I have a dog in here. Do you want to say hi? Okay. Come on out, Rover. Oh, oh. he's sleeping, taking a little nap. Oh. <laughs> hey, and I could pretend that this is a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this trampoline is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> oh. And we could pretend that this is a mailbox. Oh, I got a note back for my grandma. Dear Mika, thanks for the note. See you next Saturday for our tea party. Oh. 
<laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we could pretend that these blocks are my next door neighbor's house. Let's put some blocks here together to make a house. Whoa, I like this one. Do you know what color this is? Yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's a one, two, three, four, square. <laughs> nice. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like this. And here's the roof. This is my neighbor's house. I'm just keeping an eye on it while they're on vacation. And ooh, come with me to the rainforest. Maybe we could ride our skateboard through the rainforest. Whoa, this is so fun. Whoa. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoa, what is this? Maybe we could zip line through the rainforest. Ooh. <laughs> and we could pretend like we're worms and dig through the dirt. Here we go. It's so much fun to use your imagination. Do you want to play some more? All right, let's do it. Over here. Look, a circle. Oof, I'm going to crawl through. Hello. Another circle, see? Whoa. Hmm, I wonder what's down here. <gasps> hey, we could imagine that this is a colorful snake or a macaroni necklace. Have you ever made a necklace out of macaroni? <laughs> and I noticed a pattern. See, maroon, yellow, maroon, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> yellow. <laughs> so cool, right? Oh, excuse me. It also kind of looks like ketchup, mustard, ketchup, mustard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, I see a yellow slide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I think there's one down here too. Yeah, a green slide. Hmm, which slide should I go down? Yellow? Or green? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? Hmm, I think green. Hey, will you meet me at the bottom of the slide? All right. See you there. Whoa. <laughs> that was so fun. Hey, let's imagine that these are colorful logs on a rushing river. Okay, let's see if I can get to the top without falling in the water. Can I do it? I got this, I got this, I got this, I did it! <laughs> oh, it's over here. Whoa, check this out. Maybe this is a big vine that we have to get past, but it's always in the way. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. Hey, look, more logs on the river. Ba-dum, ba Whoa. <laughs> this is so cool. Come on. More logs. Oh, you have to be careful. It's going down the water. <laughs> oh, I see another big vine. We're coming for you, Vine. Whoa! <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> what else is over here? Oh, I see something. I have to go get it. Goodbye! <laughs> I had so much fun with you today at Billy Bee's. It was really cool using our imaginations. Remember, we pretended to go to school, pretended to be doctors, we went to the grocery store. Oh, I wrote a letter to my grandma and she wrote back right away. <laughs> I had such a good time moving my body and playing. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. 
Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M E E K A H. Mika. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Oh. Bye. <laughs> And today, I'm at Play Day in Brooklyn, New York. Today is all about fashion and style, which I love because fashion helps you express your personality. Check out my outfit. I have two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, and I love accessories like my jam pack and my watch. And because today is really sunny, I have one of my favorite accessories, sunglasses. Hello. <laughs> I feel so cool in my sunglasses. And I heard I get to put more things on my outfit inside. Come with me. Hi, I'm Mika. What's your name? Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. My name is Laura. Welcome to Play Day. Oh, thank you. What kind of things can I do here? Oh, we have so many awesome classes. You can do painting, sculpture, cartooning, architecture, and fashion design. <gasps> Fashion design, that's what I'm interested in. I want to add some things to my outfit. Great. So the first thing we can do is start with a mood board. Have you ever made a mood board? Yeah, I've made a mood board before. A mood board is a board of pictures and colors and words that inspire you. Okay, great. So let's get started. Follow right, me. Come on. Wow, this is a big board. Well, Mika, this is your mood board, and here are all the materials that you can use. And here is your apron. <gasps> Thank you so much. So have fun, and I'll come check on you in a bit. Okay, thanks. See you soon. Whoop. Oh, I'm so excited to make this mood board. Okay, let's see what we have. <gasps> Whoa, look at all of these colorful balls. Ooh, those are really fun. <gasps> There's some paint. Hmm, what should I start with? <gasps> Crowns, oh, I'm gonna start with purple, one of my favorite colors. Hello again. Hey, what do you think? It looks great. Can you tell me a little about what you made? Sure, I'd love to. So I put the word confident on here because confident is the feeling I feel when I wear this outfit. And I have music notes because I love to sing and dance. And I have a big purple M because M is the first letter of my name, Mika. And it's purple, one of my favorite colors. I think we're ready for our next step. I think we have enough inspiration, so. We should do a sketch now. Oh, a sketch. I know what that is because I'm such a planner. Fashion designers will use a sketch to help them plan what they want to make. Okay, so let's go. Follow All right, me. Come on. Wow, this is cool. So one way to make a sketch is by tracing your body on the chalkboard. And then, based on your mood board, you can add all the elements that you want to put on your garment. Wow, what a good idea! Okay, Mika, can you please lean against the chalkboard? Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, for fashion designers, it's super helpful to plan and sketch out a idea or design before you make something. Ooh. <laughs> all right, how's it looking? I can't wait to see. Okay, Mika. Ready? Yes. All right. <gasps> yes, I love it. I'm feeling inspired already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can add the elements to your design and I will meet you at the sewing station. Okay, see you there. Bye. Thank you. Okay, so first I think I'm gonna draw the outfit I'm wearing right now. So what am I wearing? What do you see? Yeah, my purple t-shirt. So let me find some purple here. Whoa, look how big this chalk is. It looks like a potato. <laughs> All right, so let's see. T-shirt, short sleeves. Okay, that. All right, I'm gonna color it in. And do you notice anything else on my purple shirt? 
yeah, I have some yellow on there. Whoa, look at this piece of chalk. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some yellow here on the sleeves. And yellow here. And where else is there yellow? Up here, around my neck there. Some yellow. And I have a yellow pocket. <laughs> right side. Ooh. Okay, what else do I have? Purple shirt and my jeans. Okay, I'll use the color blue. All right, and you can see a little bit of my ankle, so I'm gonna cut them down here so I have room for my shoes. I'm gonna color them in blue. Okay. Blue jeans, my purple shirt, and oh, my accessories. I have a compass watch that's purple and yellow. So I'm gonna use this purple again. And let's see. There's yellow on it too. Oh, I'm feeling like such a little designer. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can copy it. There's a little yellow there. There's a little yellow there. And the rest is purple. And there's a white circle in the middle. Can you see it? It's really tiny. Okay, that. And then check out my bracelets. There's blue, yellow, purple, orange. Wow, that's a lot of different colors. So we'll get some purple on there, blue, and ooh, a little orange. Okay, and yellow. Awesome, and oh, speaking of yellow, I have a yellow bow in my hair. Oh, I should draw my hair. It's brown and curly. Can't really tell what color this is. Let's find out. Ooh, look at those curls. Go on, Mika. Woo. Okay, okay. And then I'll put my yellow ribbon here. Mika, you look amazing. All right, and I have some white and purple and yellow ugh, shoes. Okay. Whoa. Okay, some shoes. And, hmm, I feel like something is missing. I have my bow, my shirt, my jeans, my accessories. <gasps> my jam pack! Oh, I forgot my super fun jam pack. Okay, let's see, I need blue and orange, and there's a white circle in the middle, just like my compass watch. Okay, so I need orange and blue, and I'll use this black to draw the strap, and then the big circle. Okay, so there's blue on top, and blue on the bottom. These two are orange. And there's the white button in the middle. Okay, yes, she's looking great. <laughs> okay, so I wanna add something, I think, to my shirt. There was something on my mood board that got me really excited. Do you know what it is? It's the letter M for Mika. I think it would look so cool if there was a purple letter M right there on my pocket. So let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's kind of hard to see. Yes, yes, that's what I want. The letter M sewn onto my shirt. That way my outfit will look super complete. And I think I'll just add some little bedazzle here on my bag for fun. And I forgot my face. <laughs> All right. Two eyes, 
a nose, and a giant smile. Twins. <laughs> All right, let's go over to the sewing station so I can get my imp put on my shirt. Come on. Hey. Hi, Mika. I'm so excited to be at the sewing station. Welcome. I have the sewing kit ready for you. <gasps> Did you decide what to do with your design? Yes, I'm so excited. I want to add a purple M to my shirt. That's great. So I'm going to give you another shirt so you can change. Oh, cool. All right, thanks. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Mika. Hi, thank you for the shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have my shirt here ready for the letter M. That's great. So first thing we're going to do is talk about the materials that we oh. will be using. Yeah, there's a lot here. So for sewing, we use needles, mm -hmm. plastic needles for kids, and sharp needles for adults. Whoa. So make sure that you have a grown-up with you when you're using those sharp needles. Yeah, good idea. We also use thread and scissors. Oh, so needles, thread, and scissors. Got it. Perfect. So to thread the needle, we're going to pass the yarn or thread through the eye of the needle. Oh, oh, I bet the eye is right here on top. That is correct. See that opening? Ooh, <laughs> that looks kind of difficult. <laughs> so don't worry, I have a trick for it. Okay. You can fold your yarn, mm -hmm. so that way it's easier to pass through the needle. Oh, smart, okay. Perfect. So next, you're gonna choose the color that you're gonna use. Hmm. There are a lot of great colors. Oh, I think I want to use orange. I love this color. <laughs> Perfect. So now we're going to cut the thread. Okay. To measure, you hold it with your fingertips. Where's the end? Where there it is. <laughs> <laughs> and then pull it to your elbow. Okay. Ooh. And that's a perfect size to start. Nice. You want to cut it? Yes. Team work. Perfect. Love it. So now we're going to make a knot on one of the ends of our thread. Can you make a knot here? Yes, perfect. And we're going to call that the tail. Whoop. Got a little tail. And now you can thread your needle. Okay, should I try your trick? Yes. Okay, just like the professionals do it. <laughs> I'm be very careful because the end of this needle is sharp. <laughs> so close. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. I can do it for you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really tricky to do. Yes. It's okay. It takes practice. I have to practice more. All right. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. So now you can start sewing. Another tip is that you hold both the needle and the thread when you're stitching. Oh. That way the thread will stay in the needle. Got it. Okay. Oh, I don't have the letter M. <laughs> no worries. I have it ready for you right here. <gasps> wow. It's exactly what I had in mind. Look, it's purple, one of my favorite colors. Oh, thank you so much for making this. You're welcome. Okay, so... I think I want it to look like this. Hold it up so you can see it. What do you think? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So cute. Okay, so hold both the needle and the thread. And I'm gonna watch my fingers here because it's really sharp. And just poke a hole and then pull the needle through, right? Yes. Okay. Make sure you pass all the threads through. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Good job. I did it. My first stitch. <laughs> okay. And then go back through. Yes. Okay. Jeez, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Look, it's starting to stay on the shirt. Good job. Now you secure your M. Okay. Thank and you. You can add a few more stitches. Okay. See, maybe I'll do one here. Okay. The final stitch. All right, now what do I do? Well, now we can cut the excess thread. Okay. I can help you. <gasps> thank you. I can take the needle. Oh, thank you. Be careful. Yes. All right. 
I can't believe I just did that all by myself. Great job, Mika. Thank you. What do you think? I love it. Oh, thank you so much for helping me today. You're welcome. I hope you had a good time and keep practicing everything you learned today. I will. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mika. See you Bye. later. Bye. <gasps> okay. I can't wait to put this on. See you soon. <gasps> Check it out. The letter M is on my shirt and I think it looks really good. <gasps> I love it. Now my outfit is complete. Oh, and I have one more thing for fun. For my jam pack. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I had such a fun day. I got to make a mood board, a sketch, and I sewed my very own M on my shirt. This was so cool. And what's cool about fashion and style is you can express yourself through your clothes and accessories. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Triple Play Family Fun Park in Hayden, Idaho. Oh! So excited to be here! <gasps> What's that sound? Oh my goodness! Look, it's a dinosaur! Whoa! Are you a Velociraptor? Whoa! Wait, I heard about you. Are you Stanley? <laughs> Can you show me some fun things to do inside Triple Play? <laughs> awesome! Come on! Oh, there's water. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Stanley, you know those dinosaurs over there? Ah, oh, hi, I'm Mika. <laughs> Whoa. Stanley, you're so nice to show me around. I love dinosaurs. <gasps> we should all act like dinosaurs. Can you help us? Okay, awesome. What's something a dinosaur does? Oh yeah, stomp! Stomp, stomp, stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, what's something else dinosaurs do? Oh yeah, they have really big and mighty roars. Let's roar together, ready? Whoa, Stanley, I don't know if I could roar as loud as you. What's something else that dinosaurs do? What? Dinosaurs dance? I didn't know that. Let's all dance together. Yeah, you got the move, Stanley. Okay. All right. <laughs> Aw, it was so nice meeting you, Stanley. Thanks for showing us how to be dinosaurs and taking us to this really cool space. I'll see you next time, buddy. Bye. <gasps> Whoa. Did you see how big his tail is? Stanley's so cool. I wonder what else is in here. Whoa, this place is really cool. I've never been in a space like this before. There's a huge pool. Whoa, look at this. It's a raft. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle. And do you know what color it is? That's right, it's the color red. Good color. Already? Oh, <gasps> let's get a closer look at Stanley's friends. Come on. Okay, let's sneak up on Stanley's friends. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Mika. Look. Can you see their teeth? They have way more teeth than we do. And they're so, so sharp. They're carnivores. That means they like to eat meat. Whoa. These are velociraptors and they run really, really fast on their legs. Whoa, look how big and sharp that talon is. Whoa, can you imagine if you had those on your toes? It would be really hard to wear sneakers if your toenails were like that. 
<laughs> Let's keep exploring. Wow! <laughs> Look at this! It's like a water playground. They call it the Children's Lagoon here. Oh! Look at that yellow slide! That would be so fun because you can land in the water and get all wet. <laughs> wow! Whoa! See how the floor is painted different colors? I see yellow. There's blue. Oh! And all the way back there is red. It makes the water look like it's different colors. <laughs> Whoa, looks like you can walk up a net, go up the yellow stairs, and there's more water slides. This place is so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, there's another fountain. Wow. There's water all over this. I think you would need a swimsuit to play on that playground. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Dinosaur footprints. Whoa, do you think Stanley made those or another dinosaur? Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Whoa, look how much bigger it is than my foot. Whoa, wow. Oh, oh come here. Wow. This is an actual mold of a real dinosaur fossil. Do you know what kind of dinosaur it is? It's a velociraptor. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those today. Whoa, look at its mouth. You can see its sharp teeth in there. Velociraptors lived 150 million years ago. <laughs> Whoa, is it snack? These are the ribs. We have ribs on our sides. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at the tail. Even the tail has bones in it. Wow. <laughs> Velociraptors are really cool and really ferocious and strong and super fast. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> More dinosaur footprints. Let's see where they take us. Oh, look at this. A crate of objects. Hmm. And we're by a giant pool. <gasps> that only means one thing. We should play sink or float. <laughs> Will you play sink or float with me? Awesome, let's do it. All right. Let's see what we have in the crate. We have a... Blue bouncy ball. Ooh. <laughs> will it sink or will it float? We won't know until we throw. It's floating. <laughs> and we have a, ooh, a spatula. Maybe you've seen these in your kitchen. You can make pancakes. Ooh. Do you think it will sink or float? <laughs> Let's see. Whoa, it went to the bottom, but the handle is sticking up. <laughs> it sunk. All right, will it sink or will it float? Wow, this is a really cool cup. I love these colors. <gasps> oh, I love it. But will it sink or float? Okay, what else do we have in here? Ooh, here's a fun truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ooh, nice and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Huh. I wonder if this will sink or float. Only one way to find out. Huh. It floats. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Hello. Whoa, I can see you way here now. <laughs> Let's see, will these silly glasses sink or float? It looks like they're sinking, wow. I totally thought they were going to float. <laughs> All right, what else is in here? 
Oh, yeah. Another Velociraptor. <laughs> will you sink or will you float? We won't know until we throw. That dinosaur is definitely floating. All right. Hmm. Whoa. Hey, this is a ruler. You can use it to measure things. I wonder if it will sink or float. Oh, it's sinking. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Should we see if the rest will sink or float? And one big jump. <laughs> Let's do it. One, two, three. Whoa! Wow! I see some diving sticks that sunk to the bottom and everything else is floating away. Goodbye! Ha. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> awesome! <gasps> Let's spell it in the pool. Okay, ready? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika! <laughs> well, thank you so much for having a good time with me today in this super cool place filled with velociraptors. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Bubble Pop in Orange County, California. Have you ever played with bubbles before? They're so much fun! Maybe you've used a wand and blew bubbles into the air, or maybe you've taken a bubble bath. <laughs> it's so fun! Well, at Bubble Pop, we get to play with bubbles all day long. Will you play with me? Oh, let's go! Whoa, check it out! Bubbles! And, hey, do you know what this is? <laughs> a bubble wand! Whoa, and this one has a lot of circles on it. I wonder if that means it will make a ton of bubbles. Let's find out. Okay, get some solution on there. <gasps> huh. I'll just try again. <laughs> well, I only got two out. Do you hear that? There's air blowing out from these two places here. That must mean if I take the bubble solution, put it on the wand, and then put it on the fan. <laughs> That's so cool. Let's do it again. Whoa, <laughs> look how many bubbles. Hey, here's another bubble wand. It looks just like this one, but there's something different. That's right. There's a yellow circle right here in the middle. Hello. All right, let's try this one. <gasps> Whoa, even more bubbles. Wonder if I could do two at the same time. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Whoa, so many bubbles. Whoa, I'm gonna do it again. Three, two, one. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Wait a second. I have an idea. Check this out. See, there's a bunch of squares in here. Kind of looks like a big waffle. What would happen if I put some bubble solution on this and put it on the fan? Ready? Three, two, one. Wow! It kind of looks like the bubbles you would see when you're getting a bubble bath. I'm gonna do it again. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Bubbles are so much fun. I wonder what else we can do here. Come on. Whoa, look, even more bubbles. 
Whoa, but check out this bubble wand. It's a big yellow circle. One of my favorite colors. <laughs> See if I can make a bubble. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I caught it. <laughs> Do it again. <gasps> Whoa, that was a big bubble. <laughs> I'm Teresa from Bubble Pop. Hi, Teresa. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mika. I'm so glad that you're playing with our bubbles. Yeah. Can I show you some bubble tricks? Oh, yes, please. All Let's right. see. So I saw you making a bubble. Uh-huh. All right. So we're going to make the bubble kind of like you just did and then catch it just like Ooh. you did. Whoa. Whoa, you have three <laughs> or more bubbles on your wand. Check it out. Oh. Our bubbles came together what? and made a huge one. Whoa. <laughs> Wow, bubbles oh, are right. awesome. What is a bubble? Well, I'm glad you asked, Mika, because you can see right here. See this film mm -hmm. on the wand? Yeah, it's like shiny. Yeah, it's our bubble solution. So usually bubble solutions are made of soap and water mm -hmm. and usually something else that's a polymer that will bind everything together. Water molecules love each other so much. They like to just hold hands and be really tight, and so they squeeze the soap molecule together. And that's why there's a thin film here that makes your bubble. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. And when they do that, it's called cohesion. Cohesion. Yep, and that's what makes the bubble hold together just like this. Wow. <laughs> All right, you ready to do a bubble trick? Yeah. Okay, so because bubbles love each other so much the water molecules inside a bubble. We can actually create a bubble inside this bubble. How? You wanna try it with me? Yeah. So I want you to blow very short first inside the bubble. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? There's little bubbles in the really big bubble. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, can I do that even in this little bubble? I think you can. Oh, I see a baby one. Yeah, <laughs> there's a tiny one right there. So instead of blowing bubbles inside a bubble, something else that cohesion allows us to do is put a bubble on any surface that we want to. Oh, okay. Like, how about your hand? You wanna <gasps> try to catch one yes, in your hand? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so I will make a bubble for okay. you, and then you try to catch it with your hand. All righty. I'm gonna catch that bubble. Ooh, oh, that it was popped. So close. <laughs> It did pop. <laughs> so the most important thing about cohesion is that you need water molecules together, right? Is your, oh. Let me see your hand. It's oh, just it a was, little wet. It was kind of dry. Yeah. Let's try it with a bunch of water molecules on it, and then they can link together. Ooh, okay. Get all the solution on my hands. Yeah. I'm ready to catch this bubble. Okay, I am going Throw one at you. Oh, you did it! You caught it! I caught a bubble! Wow, that's Hello. so cool. Let me see if I can even pop it. But I wet my hand, so I think the water is gonna like each other, <gasps> and I can put my hand inside what? your bubble! Teresa, you're a bubble magician! Oh. <laughs> was that cool? That was amazing! Do you want to see other cool bubble tricks? Yes, I do. Okay, come on, let's go! Right, come with us! Mika, wow. let me show you this oh. phantom bubble station. Phantom bubble station? Yes. Do you oh. remember before how we made a bubble with just air in it? Mm hmm All Right, well this one, we're gonna make a bubble, but it's gonna be filled with something <laughs> besides air. Oh, what is it gonna be filled with? Do you know what dry ice is, Mika? Yeah. <laughs> so dry ice is made of carbon dioxide, which is already in our air. We just breathe it normally. But what they do is they make it really, really tight so that it get things really, really cold. Oh, and way colder than the ice you would find in your refrigerator. Yeah, that's right. It's negative 100 <sighs> degrees Fahrenheit. That's super cold. In fact, it's so cold, it's not really safe to touch. Mm -mm. So we never want to touch it. So what we do is we keep it nice and safe inside here. Mm -hmm. But what comes out is the sublimated form of carbon dioxide, oh. which is this smoke that we see. Isn't yeah. that neat? So we can put it here in our bubble solution. We turn it and it can trap the, the fog inside the bubble. Wow, and look. now you have a smoke-filled bubble. That's 
that's really neat. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of like a crystal ball. Yeah, and you know what's really cool? Remember last time how we put a bubble in your hand? Yep. Would you like a smoke-filled bubble in your hand? Yes, I would, thank you. All right, let's do it. <laughs> All right, so do you remember the trick to how we always hold a bubble without popping it? Right, you don't want your hands to be dry. Mm -hmm. My hands are really dry right now, so I'm gonna put some bubble solution on them. They get nice and wet. Perfect. Okay. All right, and I will help you put the bubble inside your hand. Okay. All right, here we go. Get it on here, hold on. Why don't we, <gasps> there we go. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa, now you have a smoke-filled bubble in your hand. That's so cool. You can't even see through it. That's how much smoke is in mm -hmm. there. Can you make it dance? <laughs> oh, come on, bubble. Yes! Oh, this bubble has moved. <laughs> Did you know that carbon dioxide is actually heavier than regular air? Oh. Yeah, so when we fill the bubble, mm -hmm. we use only carbon dioxide. So all you see is the smoke that's inside. Yeah, you can't see through it or anything. Nope, but if we make a bubble and we have both air and carbon dioxide, oh. we'll be able to see which one's heavier. How does it get in there? So we're gonna use this and we're gonna stick it right inside here. Thank you for your help, Mika. Yeah. All right, Whoa. do you see that? Do you see how at the bottom, there's the fog, carbon dioxide smoke, and mm -hmm. then at the top, you can see that it's just regular air. Right. So even though it's both air and gas, one is definitely heavier than the other. Yeah, and it's going to the bottom. Yeah, and then look, now you have a smoke-filled bubble. Oh. Whoa. Biggest bubbles I've ever seen! Ooh, Boop. bubble hug! <laughs> yeah, that was cool! Do you want to see something, Mika? Yeah! All right, I'm going to make... <gasps> a bubble arch! It's like a rainbow! All right, I'm going to make one more just for you, all oh, right? thanks! Here we go! <gasps> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! All right, do you want to try? Yeah, thanks! Oh. Oh, look how big this bubble wand is. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, get some solution on there and... <gasps> Whoa. Wow, it was so pretty. That was awesome. Great job. Thank you. And thanks for teaching me about bubbles and showing me all these cool bubble tricks. Yeah, no <laughs> problem. I hope you're having a great time. Oh, yeah. Have fun. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Whoa. <laughs> she knows a lot about bubbles. All right. I'm gonna do another arch. Ready? Three, two, one. Arch! Oh. <laughs> I wonder what else I can do with this big bubble wand. Whoa, look! It looks like a magnifying glass. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Did you see that one? That one popped really fast. Whoa, that one popped fast too. I wonder if I can make one that will stay and float a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Bubbles inside of a big bubble? Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Whoa! I could fit inside of that bubble! That's how big it was! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it's raining bubbles on me! <laughs> Thank you.
bubble is, and we learned how to do some really cool bubble tricks. Wasn't it cool to see that bubble tower that I made? Oh, and my favorite was the big bubble arch. That was so much fun. <laughs> Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thanks so much for learning with me today. <gasps> A bubble dance party. Let's dance. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Dig It in Torrance, California. They have so many cool construction toys here, like excavators and conveyor belts. Oh, I'm going to pretend to be a construction worker. But first things first, safety first. I'll put on my hat and my safety vest. <laughs> Will you pretend to be a construction worker with me? Great, come on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at my first construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> I'll give you some hints. It has two arms and a bucket. <laughs> That's right. It's a front loader. <gasps> Check it out. <gasps> okay. Let's see how it works. <gasps> oh, start engine. Start. <gasps> Wow! <laughs> Let's honk the horn. <laughs> honk, honk, honk. Excuse me, moving dirt here. Oh, I have to put it in drive. Now reverse. Backing up. Pardon me. <laughs> oh, gotta turn on my lights. Check out these pedals. Whoa! This is so cool. <laughs> okay, let's park. <laughs> that was awesome. Ooh, and look at these big tires. Black and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Oh, let's see what this does. Spin, spin, spin. Whoa! So cool! We can roll it around. This is a big circle. Easier for rolling. <laughs> and these are called treads. They help the wheel get traction. <laughs> And check this out over here. Wow! It's like a construction site. And there are three construction vehicles. Red, green, and blue. Oh, and it's a puzzle. The goal is to get each car to its site. This one is for the blue car. Okay, let's see if we can get it over. Hmm. Da, da, da. Hmm, best way to get there. Excuse me, Red. Da, da, da. Oh, I have to go up there. Excuse me, Red. You go down there. Da, da, da. <laughs> we made it. Okay, let's try for Red. <laughs> da, da, da. Which way will we go? Huh, no, that's not the right way. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, we made it. Okay, one more vehicle to go. Da, 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 da. Oh. Whoa, we did it. We matched all the vehicles. That was so awesome. Oh, check it out. 
I see something cool over there. Let's go. Whoa, check out this building. It's pretty tall. Oh, and it has a lot of great shapes. Do you know what this shape is? That's right, a triangle. And this shape? Circle, great job. Put this triangle on top. Make sure everything's nice and tight. <gasps> hey, let's use this pipe wrench to make sure everything is tight. <laughs> nice and tight. <laughs> Great. <gasps> I have another wrench in my jam pack. This one's called a crescent wrench because of the shape on top. <laughs> it kind of looks like a moon in the sky. <laughs> Okay, let's take our tools and see what needs fixing over here. Whoa, check out these big blue buildings behind me. <laughs> so tall. Hey, let's make an end together. Oh, and look, I have the perfect shape for that. Don't they look like rainbow arches? <laughs> yeah, okay. Awesome! Now I have a second rainbow arch. <laughs> wow! An M for Mika. <laughs> Job well done. Okay, our project is constructed and finished. On to the next one. We made it to the cement truck. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. Mix it up, mix, mix it up. <gasps> wow. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> whoa. <gasps> hey, this looks like a hamster wheel. That's a wheel that little hamsters and other animals use to run around and get their exercise in. <laughs> but in construction, this wheel is used to mix cement. It turns it around and around and around, mixing it all together. <laughs> Should we try it? Should we be cement that gets mixed and mixed and mixed together? <laughs> yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> that made me a little dizzy. Whoa. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. Spin, spin, spin like a cement truck. <laughs> I saw a lot more cool things to do here while I was spinning. Come on, let's go learn more about construction vehicles. Beep, 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 burr. <gasps> We made it to our next construction vehicle. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you some clues. It has an arm and a boom and a bucket. That's right, it's an excavator. <laughs> Excavators are used to dig things up. Sometimes it's dirt, but this excavator digs up balls. Okay, we have to stay out of the construction zone, okay? <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> awesome! Let's try it again. We dug up a lot. Our job here is done. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Look, it's a conveyor belt. 
A conveyor belt helps construction workers move things from one spot to another so that they don't have to carry them. Oh, <laughs> great. Oh, and look, check it out. Look at all these bricks. <laughs> They're rectangular. See the shape? <laughs> and do you know this color? <laughs> yeah, brown. Oh, and there's another shape too. Can you see it? <laughs> right, circles. Let's count the circles. One, two, three. Great job. Mmm, <gasps> this kinda reminds me of chocolate. Let's pretend that these are chocolate pieces and we want to move them way up there. Come on, let's check it out. Okay, let's put them on the conveyor belt. <laughs> Great. Ready, little chocolates? <laughs> turn, turn, turn. Whoa! Wow! I have to keep turning, have to keep turning. <laughs> Whoa, let's get them all the way to the top. There they go! <laughs> yeah! Okay, now we're at the top. At the bottom, we put the chocolate bricks onto the conveyor belt and we turn the wheel, turn the wheel, turn the wheel until they went all the way to the top. And look, this is where they landed. <gasps> More bricks are coming. Check it out. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> okay, now I'm ready to go down the slide. I'll see you at the bottom. Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah! That was so much fun. Whoa! What's this? Hmm, kind of looks like a bucket. Oh, check it out. When I pull this one down, that one goes higher. Oh, it's a pulley system. It helps get things from one place to another, just like a conveyor belt does. <laughs> Maybe I can send my friends some lunch at the top. <laughs> but since I don't have lunch, let's see what I have in my jam pack. Oh, look. A little construction vehicle. Let's put it in the bucket and send it up. <laughs> Ready? Here you go. <laughs> so cool. Let's put something in this bucket too. Let's see what I have in my jam pack. A tiger. Are you ready? <laughs> ready? In you go, have fun. Woo! <laughs> wow, now the tiger is going up high. And now it's coming down low. <laughs> now it's going up high. <laughs> and look, our construction vehicle is on the other side. <laughs> wow, being a construction worker is a lot of fun. Okay, let's drive away. <laughs> wow! A tractor race. Since I'm all done with my construction work, let's go on a tractor ride. Whoa, 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 in my big tractor. Go, 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 in my big tractor. Beep, beep, backing it up. Vroom! Whoa, that was so much fun. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a construction worker with me today. We rode a big front loader and we pretended to be cement mixing around in a cement mixer. Then we used the little excavator to dig up a ball pit. <laughs> Whoa, we did a lot today. Now it's time to hang up my vest and roll on out of here. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs>
M E E K A H. Mika. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. See you later. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. This place is really fun. They have games, they have dance classes, and I want to learn some new dance moves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Trudy. Welcome to O2B Kids, the new learning playground. Oh, thank you so much. So I want to learn some new dance moves today. Mr. Christian is available for a dance lesson right now. Really? Where is it? You can head to the theater. Oh, let's go to the theater. <gasps> this is it, the theater. Oh, let's go inside. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Mr. Christian. I'm the dance teacher here. Wow, a dance teacher? Could you give me a dance lesson? Sure, but first, what moves do you want to learn? Oh, I want to learn a hip hop move, a break dance move, and a ballet move. Awesome, awesome. But first, before we do that, we have to go warm up and stretch, okay? Oh yeah, makes sense. Where do we do that? Follow me. Oh, okay, follow Mr. Christian. Oh, I'm so excited to get started. Me too. All right, first we're going to warm up. Oh, it's so important to warm up your body before you dance, get your muscles loose and warmed up so you don't get hurt. Absolutely. All right, so first we're going to run in place and count to eight. Oh yeah, you count to eight in dance because you can easily break up the sections in music when you're learning dance moves. And you don't have to count too high. Absolutely. All right, ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Oh. <laughs> I'm already warming up. Awesome. All right, so next thing, we're gonna do our pizza stretch, okay? I love pizza. Me too. Okay? Okay. So we gotta go into our straddle. We're gonna sit on the ground. We're gonna go into our straddle. We're okay. gonna spread our legs out. All right, you can sit on the ground too. All right, and we're going to roll our dough out. So we're gonna roll our dough. Shh, shh. And we're going to pat, 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 all around. Pat, 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 dough. pat, pat, pat. There you go. And then we're going to pour our sauce all around. Ooh. And then we're gonna spread our sauce, spread our sauce. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese. Ooh. Sprinkle our and cheese. if you're dairy free, you can use dairy free cheese. Cheese with no dairy. There you go. And then we're going to put our toppings. Ooh. I'm gonna put chicken on mine because I okay, love chicken. Okay, I'm gonna put some mushrooms and ooh, green pepper. Ooh, I'm gonna put some pineapples on ooh, there. Ooh, mm -hmm. that sounds yummy. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to put our other mittens on. Yep, okay. mm -hmm. protect yourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the pizza, we're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to open the oven door. Shh, shh. We're going to put the pizza in there. Shh, shh. We're going to close the door. Shh, shh. And then we're going to count to eight. Okay. Ready? We're going to go one, two, two three, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Ding, 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 ding. It's ready. Fast cooking pizza. Yeah. So we're going to take it out, open the door. Take out the pizza. All right, ready? And three, two, one. No, 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 Hi toes. Hi toes. Goodbye toes. Goodbye toes. Hi toes. Hi toes. I quickly grab them before they go away. Wait. And count yeah. to eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Yay! Wow. I feel really good now and warmed up. Awesome. I'm ready well, to dance. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. Okay. Come on. Let's go learn some dance moves. Whoa. We are in a real dance studio. This is awesome. I can't believe you're gonna teach me hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. You know a lot about dance. What do you love most about it? There's just so many things about dance I love, but a few things that I love are that I can use one side of my mind, which is the logic side, and the other side of my mind, which is the creative side, and put them together through my movements. I also that 
it's a form of self-expression. Oh, yeah. So you can really express yourself through the movements. And also it's a sense of community. It's really about love and sharing that with everyone. Oh, that's so cool. I also like to express myself through music and dance. It's such a fun way to just be yourself and let loose and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you especially do that in hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, what are the hip hop moves we're gonna learn? Okay, so our first move is our step touch, step touch. Okay. And when we do that, we're gonna count to eight, okay? Oh you yeah, ready? count to eight, I remember. All right, so first we gotta step out with our right foot. Okay. One, and step together, two. Mm -hmm. And you step out with your left, one. Step together, two. Ah, and then repeat step, that. Yep. Touch. I did. Yeah. It. There you go. <laughs> step touch. Okay. So we're gonna do that a little faster. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay. But we're gonna add arms to make it look really cool. Whoa. You ready? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Wow, that did look yeah. cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, so after that, we're gonna do our top rock. And oh. our top rock is a really cool move because it's their basic move for break dancing. Okay, so we are learning a basic move of break dance. So yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so first, you're gonna take your right arm. Okay. So right hand over and then your left hand under. Ooh. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna step out with your right foot, then your okay. heels gonna point up to the sky. And then our arms are gonna go out like you're about to give a big hug. Oh yeah, big yeah. hug! Okay? And then we're gonna repeat it to the other side. We're gonna step out with the right, we're gonna, put, we're gonna switch our hands over, left over, right under, and then we're gonna kick out with our left foot, and our toes point up at the sky again, and then make a big hug one more time. Ah, Ooh, big hug. There you go. Good job. Nice. You think we can do a little faster? Yeah, let's try it. Right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, oh, that's good job. So fun. Thank yeah. you. All right, and our next move to make a little more flavor and Ooh, put our feet on it, yeah. we're going to do a crisscross. Criss you ready? Crisscross? What's that? Okay. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Okay. So your feet are kind of shoulder width apart. Okay. And think of it like a scissor. Okay. okay. You're like you're chopping paper. Okay. You go. So you're gonna go cross with your right over your left. I know it's a little confusing, but we'll go through very slow. Okay. okay. We're gonna go right foot. Shoo. Shoo. And we're gonna cross. Shoo. Oh, it is like yeah. scissors. Like and you're cutting yeah. paper. Exactly. Shoo. And then we're gonna switch it to switch feet. So you're gonna go left or right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight. Two, two. And switch. Two. Yeah, there you go. Do a little faster. Okay. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Two, 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 two. <laughs> yes, good job. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. All right, after that, we're gonna move into our ballet. Oh, yeah, I really love that ballet. Yeah. Yeah. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put our heels turned out. Okay. We see your toes, our heels are kissing each other and going, okay. Mwah. Awesome. And we're gonna put our arms into our beach ball like this. Okay. Ooh, mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna count, we're gonna count to eight one more time. So we're gonna go. One, two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Good job. Okay? Awesome. And that is called our plie. Oh, and that means to bend in French. There you go. So we're going to do just a little bit faster. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, six, six, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And then to add a little more spice, flavor to Love our it. ballet, uh -huh. we're going to do some tendus, okay? Oh, and tendu means to stretch in French. There you go. So we're going to do our tendus to the side. We're going to start on our right side. We're going to do it four times. And we're going to go one with our right toe out. Uh -huh. And we're just going to bring it. One more time. Out. Bring it. Out. Out. Bring it. In. Out. Out. In. 
did. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Okay. So your hands are still on your hips like this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go out with your left foot, out. And then bring it, and go out. Out. And bring it, in. and go out. Bring it, out. Bring it. Oh, Good job. Thank you. Wow. Can we do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Good job. Thank you for teaching me all of those moves. Of course, of course. Are you ready to put it all together? I think so. All right. It's going to be a little faster. It might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I think so, too. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. We're going to start with the step touch. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top rock. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Criss cross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Criss cross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. After that, can we freestyle and express ourselves however we want? Absolutely. That's the point of dance. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. I think I'm ready to do a performance. <gasps> I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. it. Okay. Let's do it. You lead the way. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Introducing the wonderful, talented, and unique Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. Well, you know. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Oh, thank you for teaching me all of those new dance moves. Of course, it's my pleasure. Oh, you're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see you later. All right, thanks, Mr. Christian. You're see welcome. ya. Bye. Wow, we had so much fun today and really learned a lot. We learned about warming up our bodies and staying loose when we learn new dance moves. And speaking of dance moves, we learned new Hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. And we did a great job counting to eight. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <sighs> awesome. M E E K A H. Mika. All right, we'll see you next time. Keep dancing. <laughs> Today I'm at Munchkin's Indoor Playground in Los Angeles, California. This place is so awesome because you get to move your body and have a lot of fun and we get to play a game today. Come on! Whoa! This place is amazing! It's slide time! Meet you at the bottom. Did you see? Oh, and I landed in a ball pit. Whoa! Ball pits are so fun. Ooh, and I like all of these colors. Let's see. Pink. <laughs> and there's blue. And white. There's so much you can do in a ball pit. You can dance. You could juggle. Whoa. I only know how to juggle two balls. I don't know how to do three yet. I have to keep practicing. <laughs> hey, look over here. Whoa, at 
the very top, it looks like a big scoop of ice cream or maybe a marshmallow or something. Oh, and there's a cool looking pattern on it. White, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, all the way around. Oh, I like that. Ooh, let's go inside. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is a fun little space. Hmm. Whoa, look at this. This ball has words on it. Oh, let's read it. Go to the slide for an item to catch and find the play area that looks like it's match. A match, that means that it looks the same. Hmm. Hey, looks like we get to exercise our bodies and our minds. <laughs> this is gonna be a really good game for the mind. Hmm, go to the slide. There must be another slide here. Let's go find it. Oh, this has to be the other slide. I wonder what's gonna happen here that will help me play the game. <gasps> Look! Whoa! Have you seen this before? It's a stethoscope. Maybe you've seen one at the doctor's office? Yeah, a doctor will use this to listen to your heartbeat. Oh yeah, nice and healthy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a doctor center around here. Let's go find out. Hmm, I wonder where this stethoscope goes. Oh, look at this cool thing. Ooh. Hello. Oh, let's look up here. Hmm. I don't think this is where our stethoscope belongs. <laughs> it's really fun though. Whoa. Hmm. <gasps> hey, look! Mini clinic! We found it! This is a doctor's office. The stethoscope definitely belongs there. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, hello, welcome. Do you have an appointment? You're, oh, yep, you're right there. Come on in. <laughs> Doctors and nurses are so cool and very important. They take care of us and make sure we're feeling nice and healthy. They check your heartbeat, see what kind of tools are in here. Ooh, they'll probably look at your eyes and look inside your ears. <laughs> and sometimes they have you stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ooh, and look, there's some glasses. Ooh, one of my favorite colors too, yellow. And look, you can dress up like a doctor. So official. And a little hat. Whoa, how do I look? Dr. Mika. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely where the stethoscope goes. Okay, let's just clean up. And go back to the slide. Come on. I'm so excited to see what the next item is. <gasps> Here it comes. Whoa. <gasps> Do you know what this is? It's a tomato. Ooh, one of my favorites. Yum. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if there's a grocery store or something here. Let's go look. Whoa, a carousel. Ooh, look at this nice orange one. Let's get on. Oh, hello, horsey. I'm Mika. Hmm, I wonder how this thing works. That's not it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Hey, what a cool way to look for a space where the tomato belongs. Hmm, let me know if you see something. <gasps> right there. A supermarket. This is definitely where the tomato belongs. Hey, look down here. More food. Yeah, a supermarket or a grocery store is where you can buy food. Like a tomato. Hmm, what are some other red foods? <gasps> Ooh, what about this red pepper? Yummy. Hmm. Oh, here's another red pepper. And, oh, I love this red food. Strawberries. <laughs> I'm gonna have a red meal. Hmm. Ooh, more strawberries. And, Okay, now I have all of my food. I 
to pay for it. Let's go inside. <laughs> Come on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, I guess I can ring up my own items. Hmm. All right, bell pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. More strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, now we're cooking. Pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh. Apple. Beep, beep, beep. Mm, 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 mm. And tomato. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah. Now we're grooving. How am I going to pay for this food? I don't know, but I'm in a good mood. <laughs> oh, it looks like I have a credit card here. Let's see. My grand total is $6. Okay, let's see. Okay, that worked. All right, don't need any change. I think I'm done here. <laughs> okay, so the tomato is with the food. Good job matching with me. Hey, let's go back to the slide and see what else comes down. Come on. I'm having so much fun. I wonder what the next item will be. Whoa, look at this. A firefighter helmet. Yeah, firefighters will wear a helmet like this to protect their heads when they're fighting fires. Huh, I wonder what kind of area would have a firefighter helmet. <laughs> let's go find out. Whoa, did you find where the firefighter helmet belongs? <laughs> Good job, looks like a match. See, there's a fire truck and firefighters drive fire trucks to where the fire is to put it out and save the day. <laughs> this is a really cool truck. Oh, see the big ladder and ooh, a walkie talkie. <laughs> firefighter Mika here, over. <laughs> Yes, that is correct. Everything is fine here. Yes, have a good day. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and look, here's where the siren is so people know that a fire truck is on the way. It sounds like something like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'll put this firefighter helmet here. That way, if someone wants to play, they can be the driver and wear the firefighter helmet and look like a real firefighter. <laughs> Let's go back to the slide and see what the next item is. Come on. Yes, so far, so good. And I think there's another item about to come down. <gasps> Whoa, oh, that was fast. Ooh, what is this, Gouda? <laughs> That's kind of cheese, one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, do you know what letter that is? It's the first letter of the alphabet. <laughs> That's right, the letter A. Hmm, I wonder if there are more letters around here. Let's go look. Okay, I have the letter A. I wonder if there are any other letters around. Hmm. <gasps> I see letters in there. Let's go inside. <gasps> Whoa, it's a trampoline. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have the letter A. <gasps> And there's B, C, D. This is definitely where the letter A goes. Hey, I know what we could do. We could think of an animal that begins with the letter A and then we could act it out. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> I have one. Ant eater. <laughs> Can you act like an ant eater? They do in fact eat ants. They have really long nose and mouth and they go around and they look for ants. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Hey, give me that ant back. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, and the next letter, the letter B. Ooh, I know one. A bat. Let's act like bats together. Bats begin with the letter B. Spread your wings and fly like a bat. Or jump. Whoa. Kind of feels like I'm flying for real. <laughs> And the letter C. Cat begins with the letter C. Hmm, how can we act like cat? Get your little paws out and meow, 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 meow. Whoa, calm down, cat, calm down, cat. 
What about the letter D? The animal starts with the letter D. <gasps> dog! Can you act like a dog with me? Okay. <laughs> Good job! Now you can just jump and bounce and have, whoa, fun! <laughs> hey, bounce begins with the letter B. <laughs> Let's go back to the slide and see if there are any more items. Come on! Whoa, these slides are so cool! I wonder if anything else will slide down. <gasps> oh, look, it's one of the ball pit balls. I wonder if we need to go to the other ball pit. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> oh yeah, we definitely need to go to the other ball pit. Let's go. Okay, let's go find that ball pit. Come on. Whoa, a big white slide. Oh, I have to go down. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, that was so fast. Do you see the ball pit? It's behind me. Whoa, let's find a fun way to get into it. <laughs> Hello. Whoa, look at this. It's a big slide. All right, I'm going down. See you at the bottom. Whoa. <laughs> I love that there are two ball pits in this indoor playground. Whoa. Oh, we just swim on over. <laughs> Whoa. This is so fun. This is definitely where the white ball belongs. There you go. <laughs> hey, look at this wall. See the two colors? Pink and blue? And it makes a pattern, see? Pink, blue, pink, blue. Do you know what the next color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Hey, look at that little car. It's so cute. And there's three more ball pit balls. There's a pink one and a white one and a blue one. <gasps> and there's words on this one. Let's see. You've finished the game, now count all you've done, then go down the slide for some extra fun. <gasps> Whoa, that means we finished the game! We did it, we did it, we really, really did it! Oh, awesome! Okay, it says count all you've done. Do you remember the items that we found? Okay, we found the stethoscope, the tomato, the firefighter helmet, the letter A, and a ball pit ball. Will you count the items with me? <laughs> Great. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And then it says, go down the slide for some extra fun. <laughs> well, let's go down the slide. Come on. Yes, now it's my turn to go down the slide. Will you count down with me? <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> wow! That was so much fun! Hey, we figured everything out! We did it! We did it! We did it! Oh yeah! We did it! Let's go! High five! <laughs> nice job! Thank you so much for helping me with that matching game! We exercised our minds by figuring out which play center matches which item and we exercise our bodies by running around this indoor playground. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And thank you for learning with me. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Hey, it's me, Mika. Today I'm at a really cool place called Sequest Interactive Aquarium in Las Vegas, Nevada. That's right. Interactive means we get to pet, feed, and say hi to some of the animals we meet. 
I'm so excited to meet some adorable animals. Let's go. Whoa, check out this canoe. It has so many bright colors. Let's name the colors. Red, black, yellow, one of my favorite colors. Orange and brown too. I know, let's get inside and go find some animal friends. Whoa, the waters are really rough. Grab your oar. Great job, keep going. Whoa, I can see the shore is getting closer. Let me make sure we're going the right way. Oh yeah, we're traveling west. <laughs> keep rowing, friend. You're doing a great job. Oh, we made it to shore. Let's go see what animal friends we can find. Wow, look at these sea stars. They're so bright and colorful. Let's take a closer look. Let's count how many arms this one has. One, two, three, four, five. Five arms. Did you know when sea stars injure their arms, they just grow back. <laughs> and sea stars have a very interesting way of eating. They wrap their arms around their food, spit out their bellies. The bellies eat up all the food. Yum, 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 yum. And then they go back into their body. Whoa. <laughs> Check it out. That's called a sea urchin. It's round and kind of prickly. And that's a sea anemone. Let's give it a peck. Whoa, it's so soft. <laughs> Let's pet this sea star too. Oh, that was much harder. Okay, see you later. <laughs> oh, a stingray. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa, there are real stingrays over there. Let's go say hello. <laughs> wow. Stingrays have flat bodies so that they can get nice and snug in some sand in case they need to protect themselves. <laughs> and they love to eat shrimp. Oh, hey, I know. Let's feed them some of my sea quest shrimp that I have in my jam pack. <laughs> Okay, friends, it's lunchtime. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more stingray friends to eat some lunch. There you go. How about a pet? Oh, here's a friend. <laughs> you must be really hungry, friend. Oh, whoa. Did you see that shark? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> Let's feed them some more. <laughs> Stingrays move very wavy like this. That's because they don't have any bones. It was so nice to meet you, Stingrays. Let's go see what other friends we can find. <laughs> Whoa. I heard this tortoise's name is Stormin' Norman. <laughs> Hi, Norman. I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. <laughs> Tortoises have hard shells that protect their bodies. Their arms, legs, and head can go inside of it. <laughs> Whoa. And did you know tortoises do something called broom mating? That's when they sleep longer in the winter months. <laughs> Let's see if Stormin' wants some food. I have some Sequest jicama in my jam bag. <laughs> Here you go, Norman. No, doesn't seem like he's hungry. That's okay. I'll hold on to your food for later. <laughs> well, bye, Norman. Let's go see some other animal friends. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Janelle. 
Hey, Janelle, what do you do here? I'm the lead keeper here. Wow, that's so cool. Oh, are you about to feed the animals? Yes, would you like to go in? I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's go. This is Azalea. <laughs> Hi, Azalea. What does Azalea like to eat? She likes to eat different kinds of greens and haze. She's got flat teeth so she can chew on those. Oh, wow, they're herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. <laughs> May I feed her? Yes, you can. Here you go, Azalea. <laughs> Yum. Perfect. Did you know wallabies can balance on their tails? Wow. And how are wallabies different from kangaroos? It's mostly size. Kangaroos get about six feet, where these guys get to about three and a half, four feet in height. Oh, so wallabies are much smaller. Can I pet Azalea? Yes, we're gonna do a two finger touch down her back. Okay. Oh, <laughs> so soft. Can you tell me any other facts about wallabies? Yes, they're marsupials. Oh, I know what that means. Marsupials carry their babies in pouches. <laughs> kind of like a jam pack. Oh, do you hear that hopping sound? <laughs> hop, hop. Let's hop like a wallaby. Hop, hop. <laughs> Would you like to go see some other animals? Yes, I'd love to. Great, let's go. Let's hop away. Whoa, prairie dogs. I know, prairie dogs like to live in groups. That's right, they also like to communicate with each other through chirps and noises. Whoa, will you chirp like a prairie dog with me? Chirp, 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 chirp. And prairie dogs like to burrow. That means they live underground. And they like to nuzzle each other's noses. <laughs> and they groom each other too. That's how they stay clean. That's right. Would you like to feed them? <gasps> yes, please. Yep. Oh, look, they like lettuce. Oh, are you ready to eat, friend? There you go. <laughs> what does it mean when they do this? They like to play with you. Would you like to try? Sure. Let's see if they'll play with me. Hello, friend. Will you dance with me? Can we see some other animals? Yes, let's go. Great. Who's this? This is Percy the Possum. Oh, Percy is so fluffy. He's a marsupial. Do you remember the other marsupials we met? <laughs> yeah, the wallabies. Wow, Percy has such a strong tail. Is that for climbing trees? Yes, this is a prehensile tail. Mm. Prehensile means there are lots of muscles in his tail. <laughs> what does Percy like to eat? Percy likes to eat lots and lots of bugs at nighttime. Mm -hmm. And he likes to eat little snacks here and there. Ooh. Would you like to feed him one? Yes, please. Oh, yum! Sweet potato. Here you go, Percy. Yum, he's got a big mouthful. Can I pet him? Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> How does Percy differ from other marsupials? He's nocturnal. Oh, <laughs> nocturnal means that he sleeps during the day and is awake all night. How many teeth does Percy have? He has the most amount of teeth of a North American uh, marsupial or oh. mammal. <laughs> oh, great. It was so nice to meet you, Percy. <gasps> Who's this? This is Clem. <laughs> Hi, Quilliam. Is he named Quilliam because of these quills? Yes. <laughs> these quills help keep Quilliam safe. Whenever he's frightened, he just fans out his quills and that means please stay back. <laughs> Quilliam's an African crested porcupine. <gasps> an African crested porcupine is the biggest porcupine in the world. Can I feed him? Yes, you can. Ooh, what's this? There's yucca. He likes to eat root vegetables. Sweet potato, yucca. <laughs> Quilliam, would you like some yucca? Here you go, Quilliam. Very tasty, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Feels like Quilliam has very strong teeth. 
He does. He has rodent teeth. They never stop growing. He's also got a special enamel on him that keeps him from getting cavities. <laughs> oh, that's really helpful. <laughs> Thank you so much for showing me all these animals. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye, Janelle. Bye, Quilliam. Bye, Mika. Whoa, a coloring station. Would you like to color with me? <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'll start with purple. <gasps> I know. Can you guess what animal I'm coloring that we saw earlier today? I'll give you a few hints. This animal has eyes on top of its head and a mouth on the bottom of its body. Ooh, I want to use black next. <laughs> this animal loves to eat shrimp. <laughs> Ooh, I'm coloring with blue now. This animal has a really long tail. Do you know what it is? That's right, a stingray. <laughs> I think I'll name my stingray Shirley. <laughs> Come on, Shirley, let's swim away. <laughs> Look, stingray, I can move like you. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun meeting all those stingrays and Azalea the wallaby and Quilliam the porcupine. Wow, those animals were so cute. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> okay, let's hop away like wallabies. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm visiting Half Peak in Southgate, California. Did you know this is a place where we can rock climb? <laughs> yeah, rock climbing is a fun way to exercise our bodies. I have an idea. Let's play a game. Every time I make it all the way to the tippy top, I'm gonna get a Mika point. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wow, check out all these climbing towers. <gasps> oh, before we start climbing, we should stretch and warm up our bodies. Stretching is a great way to keep your muscles healthy and safe. Okay, starting with those legs. Ah, deep breaths. Ah. Ooh. Oh, do you hear that? I just got a Mika point for stretching. Ah, yeah. Oh, before I climb, I should take off my jam pack. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, hey, I'm Mika, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Bertha, nice to meet you. <laughs> did you just climb all the way to the top? Yes, I did. Oh, wow, can you show me how to get ready to climb? Yeah, of course. Awesome. <laughs> What's the first step? Thank you. Okay, so the first step, I have to get a harness on you, just for your own safety, okay? Oh, great. We're gonna get a harness on so we can be safe while we climb. Okay, so once you're ready, you're gonna put your right foot and left foot in the small holes and then just pick it up like their pants, okay? Oh, great. Right foot, left foot. Pick them up like their pants. Good job. And then you're gonna hold it on your waist. Thank you. Get in it okay, nice and go. Great, I feel really secure. All right, you're good. Okay, and now the next step, you're gonna get your wheel and you're gonna put it in here, okay? Got my wheel. Hear the click and then you get your key and then take it right out. Release the key. There you go. <gasps> Great. And then just let your mat come down and then you're good to go. Thank you so much, Bertha. Yeah, of course. Bye. <laughs> okay, my harness is on and I'm locked into the belay and I'm ready to go because I'm safe and ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on, let's climb. Wow! Woohoo! Oh, that was so much fun! 
again. I made it all the way to the top by using the muscles in my legs and my arms. <laughs> Great job. Wow, another Mika point. It was so cool. I can't wait to climb another wall. But first, we have to get out of our wheel. Pick up the key. Wait for the click. There it is. And release our wheel. Woo! <laughs> Great. Are you ready for our next wall? Me too. Let's go. <gasps> Look, we're at our next wall. But first, let's stretch again. All right. Here's how I stretch my legs. Yeah. And here's how I stretch my arms. Whoa. <laughs> stretch out my toesies too. And don't forget those ears. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Take my wheel, click, and release the key. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Whoa, don't these look like eggs? <laughs> All right, here I go. Wow, another Mika point. Whoa, I made it all the way to the top by taking it one step at a time. <sighs> all that climbing has made me kind of tired. I think now's a great time for a water break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's put in our key. Quick, grab our wheel. Ah, <sighs> let's go. I'm having so much fun climbing walls with you, but I'm feeling a little thirsty. Good thing I brought my water bottle. More Mika points, yeah. Whoa, did I just get another Mika point for drinking water? <laughs> Great. <sighs> climbing up high is a lot of fun, but it's important to drink water after you play. That's called staying hydrated, and it's really good for your body. <laughs> Okay, now that I'm hydrated, I'm ready to climb the coolest wall ever. Are you ready? Great, let's go. to our next wall. Oh, and it's icy and so chilly. It's Mount Everest and it's really, really cold. Warm up your hands with me. Oh, I know. Let's dance it out to warm up our bodies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm ready. Let's buckle in and head up the mountain. Mika Point, here I come. It was cold, but I had a lot of fun. I saw so many polar bears at the top. And I earned a Mika point. And we got a Mika point. You know what else I earned? <gasps> Some hot cocoa. Ooh, nice and warm. Mmm. Now let's go see what other fun things we can do. Surprise! Here I am. <laughs> oh, check out these blocks. I want to stack them. Yellow and then blue. Oh, let's do another yellow and another blue. Whoa, cool 
whole pattern. A pattern is something that repeats itself. See, blue, yellow, blue, yellow. Let's put another yellow one on top. Whoa, it's getting so high. Another blue at the very top. Whoa. Oh, whoa, I got it. Cool. <laughs> Let's see if we can put another yellow one on top. Okay, here I go. Whoa. Awesome. That was so much fun. Let's find another water climb. This was awesome. It looks like seven bouncy balls stacked on top of each other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is going to be the most challenging climb yet. Challenging means it's going to take a little bit more effort than before, but I'm up for the challenge. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get a Mika point for every ball I climb on. That's going to be a lot of Mika points. You ready? <laughs> Me too. All right, put our wheel in, click, and release the key. Mika point, here I come. Put it in my key, release the wheel. That was so much fun. It was challenging, but we made it all the way to the top. Great job! <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> wow, today was awesome. First, we stretched our bodies and warmed up. Then Bertha showed us how to put on a harness so we could safely climb our first wall. We had hot cocoa on top of Mount Everest. Then we finished with a grand finale on the seven bouncy balls and earned lots of Mika points. You helped me earn this many Mika points today. <laughs> Whoa, we make such a great team. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? Great. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, see you later. Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And look, today I'm at Kinderland Indoor Play and Cafe in Las Vegas, Nevada. And they have so many fun and colorful things for us to play with here. They have lots of shapes, lots of trucks and trains and vehicles, and a big slide. And today I brought a special vehicle with me to find a place to drive it around. Look, a choo-choo train. Chugga, 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 choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Come on, let's go see what they have in here. Wow, look how colorful this room is. And hey, there are so many vehicles to play with. Oh, but first, I want to check out these shapes. One, two. Three, four, are you ready to explore? Great, let's go. There are so many shapes here. Look at this one. <laughs> it kind of looks like a telephone. Bring, bring, hello, it's me, Mika. <laughs> and check out this one. Do you know what shape this is? That's right, it's a rectangle, a yellow rectangle. <laughs> oh, and check it out, it has another color too. Do you know what color this is? That's right, it's purple, just like grapes. And one of my favorite colors. Ooh, let's keep looking at all these 
eights. Oh, check it out, a triangle. Triangles have three sides. And this one is blue, just like the ocean waves. <laughs> Whoa, and look at this great shape. Do you know what shape this is? <laughs> yeah, a circle, a yellow circle. Whoa, this looks just like the sun, shining bright in the sky. <laughs> and do you know what this color is? <laughs> yeah, red. Whoa, this shape is pretty interesting. Do you know what it's called? <laughs> yeah, a semicircle. And if you take two semicircles, guess what you can make? <gasps> a full circle. <laughs> wow, a full circle made out of one semicircle and another one. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's make a bridge and drive our train over it. Hmm, how do I start? Oh, I'll use this big cylinder first, and I'll put this one beside it. Wow, these shapes are really soft. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, oh yeah, this will be a perfect bridge. Wow, doesn't that look like such a great bridge? <laughs> yeah, I have to go get my train over there. I know, let's go under the bridge and go get our train. Here you are, little train. Let's drive over. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Okay, let's see if our bridge works. Ready, set. Oh, wow, look at it go. Wow, well, it made it all the way to the other side. I know, let's pretend to be different cars. Hmm, this car is really, really fast. Can you guess what it is? <laughs> yeah, a race car. Let's pretend to be fast race cars. <laughs> Whoa, that was really speedy. Oh, let's be an excavator. Okay, get your arm. We have to pick up some shapes. <laughs> Look at me, I'm moving dirt. <laughs> hmm, let's be a bulldozer now and knock down our bridge. <laughs> that was so much fun. Now that we knocked our bridge over, we have to find some more places to drive our train. Are you ready? Set, go! Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Whoa! Look at these tracks. They're medium-sized tracks. That means they're not too big and they're not too small. They're just in the middle. <laughs> Let's count how many tracks there are. One, two, three. And they're all so colorful. Look at the colors on this one. We have orange, green, and blue. And check out that car. <laughs> Do you know what colors these are? Yeah, yellow and purple. <gasps> hey, should we push these cars down the track? <laughs> yeah. Okay, car, get ready. Buckle up. Woo! <laughs> oh, we didn't make it all the way. Let's try again. Back it up. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> Here we go. Buckled up. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Do you know what car this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a fire truck. <laughs> Get your sirens on. Come on, we have to go save some people. Whoa, so fast. Hey, do you think we should make our train go down the track? <laughs> yeah, 
Okay, train, time to go down the medium track. Are you ready? Get set. Chugga 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 choo. Choo chugga 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 choo. Choo. <laughs> that was so much fun. Let's go see what other tracks we can drive our train down. Ooh. Wow. Check out this tiny town. It has tiny train tracks and lots of trains. Whoa, chugga, chugga, chugga. I know. Let's count how many trains there are. One, two, three, chug, four, five, <laughs> six, and seven from my jam pack. Oh, this train is looking really dirty. Let's go to the train wash. Chugga, 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 choo! Okay, time to get washed. Shh. <laughs> All clean. Whoa, it looks like I need to make some repairs to this track. <laughs> I have some tools in my jam pack. Whoa, look at this train station. Oh, uh, nice. <gasps> hmm, what should we do next? Uh, I know. Let's drive our trains around this track. <laughs> chug, 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 choo, choo. <gasps> wow, look at them go. Whoa, I wonder what this does. Hmm, let's see. Looks like a circle you can spin your train around. So then it could change directions and go down a different track. Oh, dead end. Let's go back. How about, hmm, let me see. My compass watch will tell me. Huh, let's go east. Chugga, chugga, choo. Let's go over the yellow bridge now. <laughs> chugga chugga choo! <laughs> Whoa, there are lots of other vehicles too. <gasps> A recycling chuck. Very good for the earth. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> too big for this track though. <gasps> Whoa, check this one out. I bet we can put our trains inside. <laughs> Load them up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's drive over to another place to explore. Whoa! Check out all these vehicles. There are so many different types of them. There's a choo-choo train, and a bicycle, and a race car. <gasps> what do you think? Should we try these vehicles? <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's go on our bicycle. <gasps> Woohoo! Bicycle. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's try a race car next. Let's power up our engines. <laughs> honk, honk. Honk, honk. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa! So fast! I like cruising with you. <gasps> Whoa, look at this car. It has a number on it. Do you know what number this is? Yeah, it's the number eight. Let's drive car number eight. <laughs> oh, but it's a red light, I have to stop. Green, go! Yellow means slow down. Okay, green, we can go fast again. Oh, hey, check it out. Do you see that ball pit? <laughs> yeah, let's drive our choo-choo train over. Chugga, 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 choo. Chugga, 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 choo. Choo. Woo! What do you think? 
Should I get in the ball pit? <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I know. Let's make some snow angels. <laughs> hey! Check it out! I found another train in the ball pit. This is a pretty big train. Chug, chug, chug. Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> Okay, that was so much fun. Let's swim away. Wow. Look at all these colorful steps. Let's name the colors. We have dark green, burgundy, pink, blue, green, just like grass, purple, red, Navy blue. <laughs> Whoa, this is so colorful and fun. And look, another bridge. Let's chug across. Chug a chug a chug a chug a choo choo. Whoa, look at this big red slide. Oh, I can't wait to slide down, but after you, train. Ready? Set? <laughs> Whoa. Okay, my turn. Three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> wow, what a great day. We found so many places to drive our train. We did it, we did it. We never ever quit it, we did it. Do you remember all the places we drove our train? Yeah, we drove our train over the bridge made of shapes. We drove our train on those little tracks in the tiny town. We even drove our train on medium tracks going downhill. And then we drove our train down the slide. <laughs> that was such a fun day driving around with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. Okay, friends, see you later. Chugga, 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 choo. We're co co coding. We're going to code. <laughs> I'm so excited. Hi, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Urban League Bay Area in Oakland, California. And we are going to learn how to code computers. We're gonna meet new friends, play some games. Will you come and play and learn with me? Oh, amazing! Let's robot out of here. Let's go. Let's play beep up, boop beep. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet ya. Hi, I'm Ken Maxey, and great to see you here. Oh, what do you do here? Well, I'm the CEO of the Urban League of the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm so happy to have you here. We're a civil rights organization focused on African Americans in underserved communities. Oh, that's really cool. One of the things that we focus on today is with kids. And so Kids Teach Tech is a program that focuses on coding as well as making games for kids. Oh, I really like playing games. Are we gonna play a game today? We sure are. Oh, what are we gonna do? We're gonna play a parachute game and that's gonna bring everybody together just like computer parts do. Whoa, that's yeah. very cool. All right, well, let's do it. Let's do it, ready? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, come right. on. Hi, everyone. Hi. This is my friend Mika. Hi! Could I play with you? Yeah! Oh, I have an idea. Should we try and keep the ball up in the air on the parachute? Yeah. Should we try and bounce up in the air? Okay, let's do it. Whoa! Oh, I got it. All right, thank you. Put it back in the middle and then grab your handle. Ah. See, we're working together. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Oh, good listening. We work together, huh, to keep that ball on the parachute. I think that calls for a 10 second dance party. Will you dance? Let's all dance. Hi. Hi. I'm Mika, what are your names? I'm Ava. And I'm Tara. Hi Ava, hi Tara. And we're, and we're coding, coding teachers. teachers. Coding teachers, and what's coding? Coding is when you tell a computer what to do. Oh, kind of like the game Tara says or Ava says? Exactly. Yeah. 
Would you like to play a game with Mikasas? Yeah, that sounds really fun. Let's do it. Hi. Do you want to play a game with me? Yeah. 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 What if we played Mikasas? Yeah. yeah. And you can play too. Do you know how to play Mikasas? Yes. Okay, so when I say Mika says, you have to do whatever I say. But don't do it if I don't say Mika says. So for example, if I say Mika says, cover your eyes. Mika says, pat your belly. Hop like a frog. Whoa, good listening, because I didn't say Mika says. Okay, ready to play for real? Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? Mika says, jump up and down. Mika says, stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, ooh I like your roars. Mika says, roar. Roar, 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 roar. Mika says, turn around. Pat your knees. Oh, I didn't say Mika says. You have to really listen, right? Okay, Mika says, show me your best dance move. Ooh, Mika says, purr like a kitty cat. Meow, meow, meow. Mika says, bark like a dog. Jump up and down again. Oh, oh, I didn't say Mika says. Mika says, clap your hands. Good job. Wow, that was excellent work, coders. That's similar to how a computer works. Oh, that's right, because you give a computer instructions and then the computer knows what to do. Correct, and anyone can code, even two-year-old Maya code using blocks. No way, that's so cool. <gasps> that gives me a great idea for another game. What if we played freeze dance? Let's do it. Are you ready to play? Yeah! yeah. And will you play too? Amazing! Okay, so when the music's on, we're gonna dance right into our best dance moves. And then when the music stops, you freeze. Everyone know how to play? Yeah! All right, let's dance! <laughs> Whoa, good freeze. Are you frozen? Mm -hmm. Nice. Should we dance again? Are you frozen? <laughs> you are so good at freeze dance. Should you dance one more time? <laughs> oh. Wow, you are so good at freeze dance. Hey, it's like you all are like a computer and I was like a coder giving you instructions. That's so cool. Great job, computer. Everyone, I have some really cool gold stars to give you. Good job playing freeze dance and using good listening ears. Here you are. Here you are. You want a sticker? There you go. Good job, everyone. And good job to you, too. Hey, you two. Hi. I heard that you are both really good coders, so I bet you really know your way around a computer, huh? Do you know that a phone is a computer? A phone is a computer? Yeah, that's right, a really small computer. I did know that a computer's memory is called RAM. And hey, we used our RAM earlier when we played all those games to remember what to do. Correct. And some other cool things to know, there's a lady named Katherine Johnson who was known as the human computer. She helped astronauts land on the moon. Yeah, I've heard of her, a really smart coder who inspired a lot of people to become space cadets and work for NASA. Wouldn't it be cool to be a space cadet? Yes. yes. And also Mae Jemison. Mae was the first black woman to travel into space. She served as a mission specialist aboard the space shuttle Endeavour. Oh, that's amazing. Two really smart coders. And you're two smart coders. What are you working on over there? Puppy, puppy party. Puppy party? Let's check it out. Oh, look at those cute puppies. I know, they're adorable. <laughs> they are. And what's all this? This is our code. Oh, is the code kind of like the instructions? Of course. Oh, neat. So once we finish the game, it'll look like this. So we go around, tag all the puppies, Aww. little cuties, 
And oh, then and at the end, you dance. Wow, that's so fun. I can't believe you two created this game all by yourselves. I'm so impressed. Thank you for showing us all of that. Now let's dance out of here like puppies. Dance like puppies, yes please. Come on. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Hey, let's keep playing. Mika says run in a circle. Ready? Mika says do four jumping jacks. One, two, three, four. Mika says, take a break. <sighs> Wait a second. Did I just code myself? <laughs> that was so cool. What a fun day learning and playing at Urban League Bay Area. We learned how to code computers and I think it's really cool that a phone is a computer. A really small computer. <laughs> This is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you later. Mika says, bounce like a ball. Boing, bop.